Gazenme says I have been deployed, hello NY all. Wait, who got first? I'll throw hands Lottie 27 sob sob slash J. Cat game! That's all I have to say. That's my introduction today. That's what we're doing. We're just going cat game! Oh my fucking god, guys. I'm so goddamn excited today. I've literally been up since five in the morning. <laughs> I've been up since five in the morning because A, I wanted to make sure that I could actually download the game today. And because I'm literally so fucking excited. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So let me do some, let me do some welcomes in. Also, you can see that my model is just a little bit smaller because as I've been doing VOD review, I'm like, 
think my model is too big. I think my model's just a, just a touch big. So I shrunk it down. Um, so hopefully you guys will be actually able to like see the games now and I won't be blocking things out. Um, let me know if cat cam gets too dark because I have the blinds closed and the lights off because it is too fucking hot. It is so goddamn miserable and my roommate and I are literally like burning up. So those are just the first things first. So welcome in Star, welcome in Kobe's, who got congratulations on your first. C hello Zaya, hello Gazan, and hello to Novus. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm, yeah, I'm boiling, but I'm also boiling over with excitement. Oh my God, I have literally been like biting my fist trying to not play this game all morning. You have no idea. I'm having breakfast. How are you all? Ah, uh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I, Akihiko voice. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Um, I've been deployed. Hello, y'all. Wait, who got first? I'll throw hands. <laughs> we need to find a, a Denny's to fight in the parking lot. All right. The AC bill is going to be really high this month because the roomie is constantly running it. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, I I think I've shown you guys before, but, um, hold on. I'm going to show you guys the single vent in my bedroom. Boop! That's the single vent in my bedroom. I get no AC in my room. So when it gets like this in the summertime, it's, it's really terrible for me. Like, the living room is like at least five to eight degrees cooler than it is in my bedroom. So I get no heat because all the heat goes up into the apartment upstairs and I get no cool air because the cool air just sits at the top of my room. I get to stay out of my bed and be really, really cool. <laughs> Do you guys have ACs? No, I really don't. I mean, I do. We have AC running in the house, but I don't get it. My room is the same, it's the worst. It's so, oh my God, it's so fucking terrible. Um, but I also have like a little, like I have a, um, I have a floor fan running. I busted that out from the closet because I couldn't sleep last night. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. You got a better paying job, but like I'm from the South so I could live in killer heat, no problem. And if you expect me to pay, still pay half, I'm a flip, yeah. Luckily, uh, luckily my roommate and I have a pretty good deal going, so it's really not that big of a deal, um, for us, um, but I totally understand that, Zaya. But yes, hello! It's the day we've all been waiting for. It's cat game day. Holy shit, I'm so fucking excited for Stray. Okay, we're just gonna, we're literally just gonna jump right into things, um, because I can't wait any longer. I've, like I said, I've been up since five in the morning to ensure that one, I can actually download the game today and um, two, getting everything set up. Um, and I've been doing chores and just trying to keep my brain busy because otherwise I was going to play this game. Um, I actually, ah, thank you, Reset. Hello, welcome in. I don't stay in my bedroom as much. The PCs is what used to be my brother's room which is connected to a small yard so it's like outside temperature oh my god if it was outside temperature in my bedroom i think i would just be a, a hail sickle i would just be a puddle on the floor has nicknamed this the office okay is is stray open okay perfect okay so we're we're gonna pause that music and we're gonna go over a miscellaneous game the steam countdown was correct the steam countdown was absolutely correct. I freaked out for nothing and I'm just so excited. Um, oh, honestly, I'm gonna be real Zays. I'm just gonna close Stream Raiders today. We're not gonna do Stream Raiders. I'm too excited about Cat Game to play Stream Raiders. So sorry, Stream Raiders, not today. Steam was correct for once. Uh, so the only things that I have done is I changed some of the settings. I messed with the audio and that was and i lowered some of the graphics just so that it can run a little bit better so let me know how sound is um if it's too low if it's too high please let me know it sounds pretty good to me um but let me know if you need me to adjust anything and we can absolutely do so um so yeah 
I've heard the game is pretty short, but you guys know how I play, where I want to poke my nose into everything, so we'll see if, um, we'll see if I can finish the game today, or if we do have to bleed over into tomorrow. If I finish the game today, we'll figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow, um, as, as a group, as a community. So, let's just hop into things, shall we? I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so excited. Little, the small, the smallest cat on a journey home. And also to befriend robots. I'm very, very excited. Okay. I'm a little kitty, short and stout. Here are my whiskers. Here are my paws. Koba's Nero says, hey, Ornstein <laughs> hey. here. I see we are playing a cat game. I would be a lion if I said I am not excited. As Leo Knight, I approve. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Ornstein. We're still doing, we're still doing this bit. I see, but I love it. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God. But yes, uh, again, please, 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 let me know how sound is. Um, and Kobe about to gaslight Haley into liking Ornstein. I could never. I could never. I like Kobe's. But I'll never like Ornstein. Hi! Hi, Gaston! Look at me! I'm so fucking small! Look at me, I'm so fucking tiny! Oh my god! Look at me, I'm a little- I'm a little kitty! Okay, why? Oh my god! This is my dream come true. Baby, 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 baby! Oh my god, it's just like Francisco and Gaston! I'm literally gonna start fucking crying. This is so cute! Pause! <laughs> oh my god, look at how cute they are! Oh. Gazan May says, hey, hey. Gazan here. I have exactly 6,667 Kuja coins, which would be 6,666 Kuja coins if I got first. Well, I don't have that number anymore, so. Oh my god, kitty. <laughs> oh my god, kitty. I guess we're all, we're all gonna take a little nap together. Apparently the amount of effort the lead animator went through to accurately animate kitties is astronomical. I'm... I'm so excited. I'm literally like, oh my god. I'm like, oh, look at how cute they are! Oh, I'm literally gonna start crying! Job well done. abso fucking loot -lay. Oh, look at how cute they are. I'm like tearing up. This is so... This is everything I've wanted out of a video game. They're so fucking small. Okay, but that that one, that one on the left, the kind of more orange and white one, the more orange than white one, that literally looks like Gaston. <gasps> yes, thank you for the pets. Thank you for the pets. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, the hand is a little off, but that's okay. You're just you're just scratching my ear. I I like the ear scratches. <laughs> Inside the wall. Oh shit, the way I've been following for two years and didn't become active until this year. <laughs> I've been waiting 25 years for this kitty game. I've, I've been waiting for this longer than the game has been in development. If anything happens to Cat, I'm gonna fight everyone in a 25 mile radius. If anything happens to these kitties, I'm gonna kill everyone on this planet and then myself. Cat tutorial, cat tutorial. Oh my fuck god. Ugh. Look at their look at how cute they are. Okay, so this is <gasps> Meow? Yes, hello. <gasps> okay, so I jump. Meow. Okay, so that. Okay, so that's like my action. Cat-torial! Cat-torial. 
Is there- there is a meow button. I know that there's a meow button. I just have to- I just have to get the meow button. I think I need to be prompted. <gasps> there it is! Meow! The meow button. The meow button is the B button. You know, like meow! <laughs> oh my god, look at my cat! Look at my cat crew! Game is unrealistic, so many cats get press B to meow. No, it's fine. This is this is per this is perfect. This is my cat squad. Cat squad, cat squad, cat squad. <laughs> meow! Dedicated meow button! <gasps> Scratch the tree. Scratch it! Oh, I have to, like, hit the triggers. I have, to, I have to hit the triggers pretty fast, okay. Scritch, scritch, scritch on the scritching post. Do a big jump. <gasps> Good jump! Good jump, Kibi! Nyahahaha! This is, this is everything. This is everything I've ever wanted out of a video game ever, guys. There are no other games ever. I'm just going to replay Stray over and over and over again for, like, the rest of my life. That's it. That's the video game. That That's that's what my stream is going to, like, that's my channel. It's just going to be Stray. Stray forever. <gasps> Drink the water? Yes. Hydrate. Hydrate reminder for everybody. Kitty, Kitty wants you to stay hydrated too. Games are canceled. Only Stray exists. Okay, that's also to drink the water. Okay. Meow. Look at the look at my gang. Look at my little gang of kibbies. This is this is it. This is this is this is this is everything. I I'm literally sweating like. So Cobas Nero much. says it's the like cat, Felis Cadus, is a domestic species of small carnivorous mammal. It is the only domesticated <laughs> species in the family Felidae and is often referred to as the domestic cat to distinguish it from the wild members of the family. A cat can either be a house cat, a farm cat, or a feral cat. The latter ranges freely and avoids human contact. Domestic cats are valued by humans for companionship and their ability to kill rodents. Spin! Cat spin! Okay, I thought I could like spin around a lot more. Okay, and then we go down here. And then down here. God, I hope this is a cat fact stream. If if anybody can give more it Kobe's, if you want to give more cat facts, you are absolutely fucking welcome to. Wait, I wanna jump up here too. Why is the cat on the banister? Cause they wanna cause I wanna be tall. Hold A, oh, hold A to chain jumps. Okay, so. Ta-da! I will try. Don't worry, no worries if you cannot. I'm just waiting for tragedy to strike. No! Okay, so the only thing that I know about this game is like, I don't think anything happens to cat game, to, to cat gang, excuse me. Um, but they do, we do get lost, hence the stray, and we have to find our way back to our cat gang, and then we get to make friends with robots, and I hope that there's no tragedy. I hope that this is a, just a fun little cat game where nothing bad, actually, where nothing bad happens. I hope that this is fun and wholesome. <gasps> Guys, look at the beans! Let's zoom in on them beans. Oh, the beans. Okay, I misinterpreted the game hugely. Hold left trigger to observe. Oh. This is this is our house. We got a big old house. If a cat dies, I will cry and send a complaint to the manager. If a cat dies, I'm literally going to fucking ball my eyes out and I'm going to probably stop playing because the best translation for straight cat is Gato Kaleo, Gato Kale, Kale, Kaleo, which is Street Cat. I thought this was a sad game. I hope it's not a sad game. <gasps> oh no! Kitty, no! <gasps> no, Kitty! Oh no! <laughs> no! This 
small canal makes me think of the thing open world games do to mask loading. Oh no! We gotta get back home! <laughs> okay, but the cat didn't die, so... <laughs> Long live the king! No, shut up! Oh no, kitty! Honestly, I haven't made the cat- the cat survive this. Uh, cats are liquid? Oh no! Look, he's got a hurt little- he's got a hurt little foot! <laughs> Oh no! Kobe's Nero says here are some cat facts to start off. No! Adult cats have Kitty! 30 teeth, while kittens have 26. Cats can jump five times their height. Dot males are more likely to be left pawed, while females and more likely to be right oh, pawed. Some are ambidextrous. Uh oh, girlies, power flickered and I missed an important part. <gasps> no, it's okay, Zaya. I just my 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 kitty my kitty Sona just fell down. Did you just kill a kitty? No! I would never. I would never kill a kitty. He hurty. Somebody please help the kitty, please. Francisco, Gaston, don't you curl your lip at me, young man. Are you, are you right or left pod? Huh? Okay, see, look, Kitty's okay. He just he just hurt his paw a little bit. See, he's okay. The detail of like like the fact that all of these objects move, that's pretty amazing. Meow. Okay. So any any mice down here? The other cats just watched cold heartedly. No, they looked at they looked at me with concern in their eyes. But like what were they gonna do? Jump down with me? I think there would be more impact if the cat was limping for more than five seconds. Listen, cats are cats are des are dexterous. They're very resilient. Francisco has literally like thrown himself into a table like head first and we've been like oh my god are you okay and he's like yeah i'm good no bad things i'm still shocked the game price i thought this was gonna be more expensive that's exactly what my roommate said novice actually but yeah no it's only 30 dollars <laughs> i like how gaston just kind of stared into the void processing the question oh uh-oh Wait, are the titles in katakana slash English? Uh, I don't think it's katakana. I think it's like made up robot language is what it seems like. Uh, oh, there we go. I was about to say, how am I supposed to? Hello, meow, meow. We're saying hello. The, the camera and I are having a conversation. Is it cat language or what cats perceive as letters? I think it's literally supposed to be like the language of like this, this society. It might be weird futuristic Chinese. I, I think it's just, I'd like to hope that it's just like a unique made up language. Meow. Ooh, what are those? Since the game was supposed to be roughly based in Qua, oh, colon. Oh, okay. Oh. Little robot buddy. Oh. Because you can really believe. Because you can read the below text as English if you try, but the above stuff looks a bit like katakana. I it 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 is it doesn't look it at least to me it doesn't really look like katakana. It's got like that kind of like angular edges, but no music. No no toot no no tooting. Do not do not honk your horns in this location. Oh, look at all these little robots. Help. All right, let's let's go. Fool, Doctor Doom takes toots as he pleases. 
Yeah, the text reminds me of very typical, like, sci-fi stuff. Follow me. I'm following, I'm following. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> I got a bucket! Look at me, I got a bucket. Um, do I have to fill up the bucket? What do I do with this bucket? I can has bucket? Okay, well this bucket, this bucket is my bestie now. <laughs> wear it. I'll wear it as a little hat. Um. As, as cats do, I want to like climb on everything. Uh, I, I'm assuming I go this way? Jump! <gasps> Good kitty! Oh, I see. Um. Okay. Admittedly, that was a little janky, but... Ah, uh, yes, the, the typical, typical cats knocking thing, knocking everything off of, off of high places, off of high places. Can I hop? Ooh, I can hop all the way up there. Look at my big old, look at my big old jumps. Um, okay, let's hop down here. Well, clearly- Cobra Zero says some more facts. Cats walk like camels and giraffes. Both right feet then both left feet. Cats sleep 12 to 16 hours per day and spend one third of their awake hours grooming cats can dream. Oh, I definitely know that cats can dream. I do I do know that cats, um, they walk like, not only do they walk like camels, um, they also very specifically uh, place their paws when they do walk. Follow me. Um, like in the spaces where like they last put their paw um so like very they have a very specific walking cycle it's very very interesting if you ever watch a cat like walk meow cat ride single file to hide their numbers i like i i like that i have something Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna scratch this carpet just just to let the person know that I was here. Meow. You know, just to be a little just to be a little menace. Can you walk over the paint and leave paw prints everywhere? Uh, maybe. Hold on. <gasps> I can. <gasps> Look at my little paws. Look at my little paw prints. This is literally the greatest video game ever of all Kazan time. May says, hey, mix up of hey. language and cat facts. In Spanish, we call crawling gator. Specifically, the crawling babies do. It means to cat around. <gasps> sippy, sippy, sippy. Don't forget to, don't forget to also sip. Don't forget to drink your water. It is very hot out there. <gasps> Fast travel! Kitty in a bucket. Meow! Oh! I heard something. Drink your Gatorade. Oh! Kitty! Okay. Sorry, I just wanna- I just wanna, like, explore everything, cause that's- Ro robot rats. They they don't really look like rats. They look more like like giant cockroaches. Oh, oh no! I am team robo robo rat now. Um, meow. Oh, meow. I like I like the very like different like dynamic meows. Like there's a little like 
There's like a kind of deeper meow. Meow. And then there's like some higher pitched meows. Very, 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 very good. Okay, up we go. Up we go. It's giving me Matrix Second Resistance vibes that I do not like. Uh-oh. Except I'm a cat, so. Oh. <gasps> Cutscene. I'm a little kitty, short and stout. Kitty. Oh, I don't really like that there's a whole bunch of these little boys now. Renaissance, not resistance. Oh. Sorry, thank you. Oh no, run kitty, run! Hold right trigger to run. Ah! Actually, they look more like robo ticks than anything. Ooh! Run kitty, run! Oh! Fuck, boy. Jump! Huh. Yes. Give yourself a little scritch. Give yourself a li a good job, little scritch. Oh. Okay. So, like, if I need if I need assistance. I can meow and it'll like give me extra assistance, I see. Um oh. anything to sniff? Anything to collect? Anything like that? Well, this isn't the vibe I expected from this game. night neither did I. I honestly, all I I came into this knowing a uh, cat game, and that's literally about it. So we're gonna discover the vibes. Oh, we're gonna discover these vibes together. Up and up. Do, 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 do. Uh, this way? Um, oops. Like, oh, like that. Um, there we go. Oh, right. I should stream you, Miniki. You definitely should, Gazan. I think that'd be a great game to stream. Assassin's Creed kind of run section. Oh my god, my roommate and I were actually literally just talking about Assassin's Creed and how, and how everything after Assassin's Creed, um the Ezio trilogy was kind of a disappointment. Is there anything to collect? I want to collect things. Okay, nothing, nothing over here. I keep saying stuff like boss baby syndrome. I mean, that's fine. I don't, it's fine. I mean, hey, I hear Black Flag was great for a pirate game. Okay, Black Flag was a fun game, but it wasn't an Assassin's Creed game. It was a very fun pirate simulator. <gasps> Ballin! This cat is baller! Meow! Um, hence why I said a pirate game. <gasps> Good jump! Good jump! up here. October 11th. Wow, it's close to my birthday. We ballin'. Oh, 
I'm assuming we're gonna have- oh, okay, I think I see what I have to do. So I go up here. Okay, so meowing is actually, like, if I need a hint, meowing is how I, like, get a hint. That's really- that's- I like that. Ball- balling slash ballin'. Um... I just... I just came up here, right? I just came up here from... This area? Where- where did I- where did I come from? I guess this is the right way. Inaccurate meme, Garfield is, also has a hungry mood. What should, what should, oh! Oh no! No, don't fall again! Hi, Brisnik! What should we call our kitty, by the way? Should we, should we come up with a name for our, for our little guy? I hope you're having a wonderful day! Jesus Christ, I was about to have a heart attack if that was a death fall. Me, me. Listen, if anything happened to this cat, I'm going to fucking start crying. Like, give this poor, give this poor little guy a break. Same, same. Good, but I, I, I really hope it's not that kind of game, or else I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really upset if like this ends up being some kind of tragedy. Um. Okay, so I can't get over there. So this way. Jump. Good jump. Okay, this way, this way, this way. Meow, 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 meow. Since cats have French names, why not hold the tradition in something like Louis? Louis's a good, Louis's a, Louis's a good, a good solid cat name. I submit Ranja, so pronounce Ra, Ran, Ranha from Naranja, orange. That's a cute one. So we got Louis and we got uh, Ran, Ranha. Um, oh, okay, this way. I really, really appreciate, I really, really appreciate how, like, subtle the hints are. Ooh! Like, there are, like, they, they really use the environment super well as, like, your guide. Oh, can I go in here? Okay, well, what's, what's over this way, though? Uh, nothing. Okay, well, through here. Louis, Louis Swall looking ass. No, he's not, this, the, this ain't a grandpa. This is a little, a little ham, handsome tomcat. Um. So where am I supposed to go? Uh Oh, okay, I see. Gotta unplug the fan. Just like Francisco when he unplugs my laptop in the middle of the night. Uh how do I how do I get up there? Um Oh, I just jump up. Okay. Wait, is this where Tomboy comes from? Uh, no. I do not think so. I'm a gamer, guys! Gamer cat! Gamer cat! Does whatever a gamer cat does. What are- what do, what do you think- what do you think the cat's gonna play? Cow! <laughs> That's a that's a good that's a good cow. Very good cow. Oh look, there's the promo art for it. 
Walled City 99 International University Science and Tech Institute, WC 99 campus of Philosate. Man, this this robot really likes, really likes cows. This robot really like them dumb cows. Final Fantasy XIV, cat's gonna make a hot cat girl. So true though. Oh, oh okay, so they're like two. <gasps> Well, no, I want the funk- play those funky- play those funky tunes, kitty! Meow. Need help. Oh my goodness. Data corrupted. Need help. This is the greatest. Body required for downloaded. Body required. Enter the door. Turn on. Find a body. Ooh. Cat not pushing the radio off. Immersion broken. I do have to, I do have to. I, I really appreciate this. I could do this. I could just do this all day. Oh my god, look, I made a happy face. <laughs> this is just like when you guys redeem a cat tweet. These are Francisco's words of wisdom. <laughs> cat tweet, cat tweet, cat tweet. Meow. I love, I love this video game so fucking much already. This is amazing. This is every, this is everything I've wanted, everything I've needed, in my entire life. We received so much wisdom, so much, so many free cat tweets, guys. Retweet this cat instantly. <laughs> oh, the door closed. Um, I like how the camera's like nod at me, but also giving me like CCTV vibes. Um. Oh, they have a Maneko Neko. Oh no. Um uh, Oh, I see a plug up there. Jump. Good jump. <laughs> this is just wow, this is just like when Gaston gets right up into the into the um into the camera. Speaking of right up into the camera, uh I just want you guys to know that the boys are like totally zonked out right now. Oh, well, I mean, that's one way to get the plug. Stare off. Look at me, I'm so fucking smart. Okay, are there any more, any more plugs? Zonked out. Yeah, they're they're totally zonked. Um Okay, I need to find a plug. There's a plug. Um Ooh. I'll be taking that, thank you. Aha! Right. I bet these CCTV guys are like, man, this cat's... Hold up. What the fuck is this cat doing? Meow. I saw a video that says levels of high and the names are very, very funny. Oh boy. I'm, I'm ready to tag myself. Alright. Up we go. Oops. Um, if I were a plug, where would I hide? If I were a final plug, where would I be? Oh, every time I meow as well, the camera's like wiggle. Looks like nobody's been in here for a while. There's spider webs everywhere. Baked, toasted, roasted. One of them was zoinked or something like that. Oh, fucking mood. Um. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's on the other side of this table. Meow. Boop. Look at 
me. I'm such I'm such a smart kitty. Ooh, a, a, a circuit entrance. Also, uh, now that my model is a little bit smaller, guys, you can see my my eye beans a little bit better, which I thought would make um, people a bit happier as well. So, um. oh, hey, <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at them box physics. What do I do with this? Koba's Neuro says Catfax Part 3, grooming stimulates blood flow to the skin, regulates body temperature, and helps them relax. Cats mark you as their territory by rubbing their faces and bodies ideas. against you, marking you with their scent. If your cat approaches you with a straight, almost vibrating tail, this means that they are extremely happy to see you. Oh! Well, they, my boys are always happy to see me. Oh, girlies, I was terrified. Zoink, Scoob! I mean, the place was called Dead City, so I imagine no one's been here for a while. Now we can see you're a spawn of Satan. No, I'm a I'm a cosmic entity. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this little guy. Toasted, baked, roasted, sautéed. Stony, baloneyed, kush, coma, and zooted. Oh, hello. B12. B12 is good for you. <laughs> Why were you terrified, Zaya? Is this gonna be your little buddy? I love the robot! <gasps> Who is talking to me? I didn't kill it! Hi, Neki! It worked! I'm free! Thank you! I couldn't Ross believe says, the Big cat fact. Did you know a tiger's legs are so city. strong? they can remain standing even after death. Holy shit, that's that's actually pretty amazing. I know that like tigers can like, they can't really like jump, but they leap. They like can like leap up to like 40 feet, right? I'm, I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I restarted my PC after the power flicker and it booted back up to the default Windows background. Oh no. <laughs> I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. <gasps> that key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Take keys. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're going to have to put this on. Doesn't B12 require energy? It does. Oh. <laughs> what Francisco does! Anytime I try to put a harness on Francisco, that's exactly what he does, is he just flops over. He just can't, he just can't handle the weight of it, and he just goes Bleh! and he just doesn't know how to, how to how to handle it. And he'll just lay there. Oh, 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 little kibbe. But it was a false alarm. It just fucked my boot order. Phew! Okay, that's good. Cybercat. Okay, got it. Oh my god. This is literally This is literally what Francisco does. I'm I'm fucking crying. Oh my god. The ac the accuracy of this of this cat game. I Windows installed on my other driving case so it booted to that. Oh. This backpack was de was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. 
press up to open the inventory. I have keys and I have memories. Easy. If you are ever curious about an object, you can show it to me or to others if we come across any. Now, let's get out of this flat. Uh, X to open. Select an item to use. Roz says tiger jump fact. They can leap over 20 feet and jump roughly 15 feet up. Ah, 20 feet. I thought it was 40 feet. My bad. Variously typing on a keyboard. Meow. He's in. Oh, now I, well, I mean, cats should already be able to see in the dark, but now I can see like extra in the dark. <gasps> can I type? can play the piano. I'm a musical cat. Uh, code three, seven, four, eight. Three, seven, four, eight. Three, seven, four, eight. I mean, 40 feet would be a lot. It, it, it would be. It definitely would. Um, how do I turn off the light? Use digit code three uh, three seven four eight. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop. Ten out of ten horror movie soundtrack. <laughs> Open the door, Kippy. A little chatty. <gasps> I got an achievement for meowing. Wow. Look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I mean, maybe a Liger would be able to jump that far, but I guess they could be impeded by their sheer size. <laughs> I know we need to go up. Into the bucket. Whoa. Look at the city below. Ooh, something has... Something not so, something not so great has taken over this city. No wonder it's the dead city. The stream gets the meow achievement every three minutes. <gasps> <gasps> Cutscene. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? <gasps> I can meow in the cutscenes! This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Gained a new item! Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. I'm pretty sure lynxes are the jump kings. They can jump like 25 feet high. Oh, that would make sense because they're like, they got, they got them long fucking legs, them lynxes and them big old beans. Big old beans and long fucking legs. Just like a real cat, just meowing through all the dialogue. Exactly. And jumping on, jumping on all the things. Um, this cat, this cat don't give a, don't give a crap. Um, I'm assuming I have to go this way. No, that's a dead end. Okay, but what about fleas though? Listen, they're a stray cat. They probably already have fleas, but it's okay. Oh, here we go. Fast travel. Uh oh. Not those little ticks again. Oh! They fell in the sludge. Oh shit, they can jump at me? Is there a is there a hiss option? Ah! Ah! 
Okay, I do get my... Okay. What are they? Huh. Okay. Phew! Okay. The slums. Alright, it's you and me, B12. <gasps> A robot! Are we scared of me? <gasps> what is... No, don't be... <gasps> Stray! Hi, Exile! Watch out, he Morbin. <gasps> but... I'm just a little guy. You don't have to be scared of me. Everyone being stray today. <gasps> wait, 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 but... Meow. They even have Bionaz. Really says waiting impatiently for stray multiplayer version. <gasps> oh my god, that would be so great. We could just have a big old cat squad. I didn't mean to TTS that. That's okay. But hey. hello. <laughs> no, the creature has the right idea. Cats are cute, but that is so they can lure you into a false sense of security. I listen as a cat. As a cat, I would never do that. When have I done that? Hmm. That robot doesn't seem afraid of us. Let's talk to him. He might help us. Please, I'm just a little creature. Oh, uh, meet more, meet more, my meet more. They seem to have their own language. You're no zerk. No, I'm a kitty. We are not- we're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Okay, so... Cats have plans for world domination and I'd let them. <laughs> Luna, poor Luna. No! Stop it! Listen, that was one time. So the things are called Zerks, got it. Okay, can I- can I come in please? I'm a good little kibbe. Meow. <laughs> Finish breakfast, so gotta go for lunch, BRB. Guys, I'm living their best fucking life. See? Look at all, look at all these cute little robots. I love their little faces. See, I'm a good kibbe. Oh, did you see how he, like, smiled? You look lost. What do you need? Um, show item. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. The elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. This is truly like my dream game. I love it so much already. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Okay, so we have a goal. Press down to ask B12 for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Okay, well... Gotta, gotta scratch the furniture! I have made my mark. I'm gonna meet the robots! You gave us such a fright! We thought you were a Zerk! Oh! Very pretty! Uh, 
Uh, you really, you really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame. It's just a dream. Translate. The ancient story spoke... I want... Can I... The ancient story spoke of a natural light that leaked from a star and landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them to grow. Okay, so they're talking about the sun. Oh. Uh, I want to jump on the table. There we go. Translate. Scratch everything. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. Okay, so something happened that wiped out humanity. And now we have robots. Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It is said they once dominated the world. So the robots can't. S well. They clearly can see colors because they said the orange sign. So that's interesting. Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Oh. Oh. Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Is that Robot Jesus right there? Uh, okay. So those are all the robots that I can talk to. Seems the vitamin B12 is quite important for cats. The name of the robot could be a nod to that. It's good for the health of your cat's immune system, nervous system, and digestive, di digestive tract. <gasps> Ooh, good to know. The Marketplace. Hello there. I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, and I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. I do not have any energy drink cans. This is a music sheet, a masterful piece of art of a very renowned artist. It will cost you one energy drink can. I can't do less. Humanity doesn't need any help to wipe itself out. It's true. My guess would be humanity wiped humanity, and I'm not far enough to know if it's not true. This is a set of electrical cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Okay. So we have to we have to get some 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 drank. Hello. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats, and preparation is key. We come across fake pictures like this sometimes, all talking about the outside. Beautiful dream, I guess. <gasps> Pizza. Um, okay, so be careful. I got an insurance ad. Something might happen. Uh-oh. Nico plants grow in the dark. You don't need the sun to enjoy nature. Barterman. Super Spirit la Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. You do look a little, little, you do look a little like a Zerk, from far away at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Oh, 
Is that the outside that Momo keeps talking about? Uh, Jacob, employee of the month, XX27. Hello, I'm a kitty. You want something? Ah, the myth of the blue sky. Beautiful concept. I can't even change the music. That's very cute. Bartender, your finest glass of warm milk, please. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Oh, this is a nice picture of the outside. Momo's a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an, e an orange neon sign. Oh! Alright, down we go! Um... Do, 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 do. What is up here? Uh, remember. What are we remembering? Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. New memory recovered. 7%. Okay. So we wanna we wanna try to help B12 get her memories or their memories back. Hello! I'm a kibby. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it is something to read. The outside? Why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Oops. I'm gonna play some pool. Oh my god, there's so many physics! I could literally just, like, bat things around and interact with all of the objects in this game, like, forever, I think. Meow. Okay. Uh, down we go. What's out here? I don't really know where I'm going at the moment, but... There's just so much to cat, so much cat to cat. <laughs> Barterman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. Um. <laughs> Elliot Programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Uh. I just entered this dude's house. Time to knock everything over. I see you're a fan of music. I too enjoy the piano. It really does sound like a horror movie soundtrack. <gasps> Sheet music. Uh, we were programmed to be slaves, but since... Oh, God. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, until... Since... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two... Un since 25,448,755,555 days, we have a soul. Hope one day to the outsiders will find the exit of this hell, Momo. Did someone say butt? Did any did anyone say bat? 
You're here for Elliot. He's just over there. You want to go outside? Well, good luck. It's not going to happen anytime soon. All right, let's go meet Elliot. Scratching the carpet, scratching the carpet. Furiously scratching the carpet. This tree is a scientific marvel. It is remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. Wait, that wasn't scratching, that was kneading. It was scratching. It's what humans would have wanted. No, that's definitely, that's scratching. That's exactly what my cats do on the, on the fucking carpet. And that's exactly what my cats do on the goddamn couch too. That's, I'm a professional. Oh, I can, <gasps> and I open the window, okay. Yes, can I help you? The outside. Why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Now that's also scratching. I'm just gonna use this door as a scratching post. Do my scratches persist? It looks like they might fade, but. I love, I love that you can like change the music. Okay. Uh... Okay, out the window, I guess. Enjoy your lurk. I'm off to level up with my rep with the Ring of Ash. I'll be lurking until further notice. Okay, no worries. Have fun with the Amulja. Okay, so that, we've already met them. This is the bar. Um... Let me in, let me in, let me in. Uh, are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. No, I'm just a little kitty cat. Uh... Okay, well, let's go up this way. Announcement. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The rem... the remun... remun... remer... Remu, remuneration is two pints of subi oil per day. Please contact the guardian. Words hard. Words hard. Hello. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time's weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. It's very pretty. It would be so nice if it was real. A music sheet. I don't play an instrument. Sorry. Oh, look at him. He's, he's watching TV. Um, okay, I don't really, I don't really know where to go right now. Kazanmei says Rimu, Rimu, 
Ram, Ramune, Ramune, Ination, Communication, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Oh, I definitely clipped through the, that vent there, but that's okay. Um, well, I want to meet all the robots first. Hold on, let's go back down. Oops. Down we go. <gasps> Look at these little guys. Grandpa made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Ha! Huh, a blue sky. That would be so weird. A music sheet. I don't play an instrument. Sorry. Guap! This robot's name is Guap. You want something? Oh, you're one of those outsiders like Momo. Well, good luck with that. I don't play an instrument, sorry. Okay, so we've... I just got myself all turned around. Um... Grandpa clothing. Are you grandma? I do love knitting. So far I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. Oh my god. This gr th this robot's me. If you bring me some electrical cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me. But it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Oh, that's very pretty, dear. It looks a bit peculiar to be real, though. I'm sorry, I said I was lurking, but... <laughs> no worries, Gazan. A music sheet. I don't play any music. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, so I can't talk to that robot. Okay, so we want to get the electrical wire, but how do I get... How do I get like the tradable items is my question. So I can get the electrical wire cause I want to be a cat in a poncho. Play that funky me. <gasps> Take energy drink. <gasps> Yay, okay. Remember, what are we remembering this time? Human, hu I, a oh, rip human's heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems they are all dead now. Why do you think it feel, what do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry. I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. I, I'm, I'm glad that the game is not as like straightforward uh, or linear um, as I thought it was gonna be. Um, Announcement! I am looking for any sheet music to play to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Okay, so that's who we're gonna bring the sheet music to. <gasps> Cowboy! Cowboy! Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again or else Cosmo will be ticked off. The outside. Why bother to try to find it? We're good here. The music sheet. I'll play an instrument. Okay. Um. Let me in. Let me in. Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. Hello? Well, okay. Um, it'll be such a shame if someone were to push a bucket of paint on purpose. 
Oh, I wonder, I wonder who that could be. I wonder who's been knocking paint over. Surely, surely not this little kibby. Okay, down we go. Uh, hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Untitled. This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Well, he's doing his best. Oh, I could just take a little nap. Oh. Oh my god. He he sure he sure is playing that out of tune guitar though. I I I appreciate the effort, buddy. <gasps> I have a bag on my head. I also got an achievement. Okay, how do I get the bag off? How do I get the bag off my head, guys? Okay, there we go. It actually does mess up the controls, too. Like, it makes you go, like, if you hit, like, left, it goes, like, forward. And if you hit, like, right, it goes, like, backwards. It'll come off. You are the back now. Uh, safe's mysterious password. Um, examine. Uh, show to be twelve. Also, the song playing gets better. Okay. Uh, Exile, have did you have you finished Stray? Um, I'm assuming you've played it. Have you finished it? Is it is it pretty short? It's written follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of ones and zeros. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It is probably related to this safe. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if Elliot will be able to do it. No, I finished this chapter. Oh, okay. Access to the sewers is condemned because of the pro proliferation of Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. There's a trophy to complete in two hours, but that's not enough, cat. Well, I mean, we can speed we can speed run it later. Right now, I want to be I want to cat as much cat as I possibly can cat. Okay, now I should be able to buy things. Um Hello! I take care of the plants. The humans improved them so much. Now they require very little light. Just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. What is that? A beach. I've never heard of that in my whole life. Um... Okay, so where... Where is Elliot then? Oops. Uh, that's Leto. Hello! Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven, or from somewhere anyway. A blue sky. Ha! Huh, imagine that. Hello again. What do you want now? This is a set of electrical cable, the best on the market. Oh, I need super spirit to turn. Okay, I need to go to the, the... This is a music sheet, a masterful piece of art. It will cost you one energy drink can. Here you go. Gain a new item. Uh, oh, I need, I need three energy drink cans. Okay. Well, let me go find, let me go find Elliot again. Uh, this is the bar. Okay, let me, let me retrace my pause then. So if I jump down here... Um, oh, I have not met these robots yet. Uh, 
I left it in the streets and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Huh, another picture of the outside. Get out of here with that stuff. It's all nonsense. All the weird stuff happens to you, mate. I'll dare leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian's the only one who can open the door. What if I... Oh, I can, like, nudge against them. Look at... Oh, they get little hearts. Oh. I'm going to make all these robots so happy with my power, with my kibby powers. Um, okay, so there's... Where is... Oh, where, okay, hold on. Let me check the sign again. Uh, super spirit. Okay, super spirit is down here. Um, oh, here we go. Super spirit. Let the little kitty in. Oh, this is the... Um... Let me in, let me in. Oh, look at like B12 sitting in the little, um, in my little, in my little pocket. Okay, uh, let's jump up here. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Whoops! It would be a shame! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Did I distract them? Whoopsie! I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again! Stop laying over my shop, you clumsy rascal! I'll be taking that, thank you. just gets me oh, he's 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 real he's real mad at me okay so what happens if we go back up here and What can I do here? Oh, there's a there's a there's a guy here. What if I hit Y? Oh, I love this little kitty so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're purring. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna try something really quickly. I wanna unplug my headphones. So if there's a small echo, I apologize. I want to see what happens when the cat meows and if my cats like get get nervous or like if they come and inspect it. I'm just I'm just curious. 
Oh, good stretch. Look at that stretch. <laughs> They're looking. Oh, here comes Gaston. Do you see the kitty, Gaston? Do you see the kitty on the on the screen? Okay, I'm gonna plug my headphones back in. I was just curious. I was just really curious. Look at Gaston. Look at Gaston and his like thousand yard stare. Hi, Bobby. Hi, sorry about that. Oh, look at the look at this guy. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. The surface? Oh, it's a sensitive subject around here. Oh, we, we gonna give the boy some treats? They do deserve it. Yes, you do. Good boy. Good boy, Gaston. Look at them getting their treats. There are some whose code can understand that concept. There are ones who know about the outside, but are too resigned to do anything. And then there's the outsiders. You can imagine how they feel. Well, there is only Momo now. Oh, can I, can I scratch the couch? Leaving my mark. Leaving my little paw marks. Rah! Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I'm totally lost now. Oh, but. Boop beep boop 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 boop. boop. <laughs> now, guess now Francisco is like, wait, there's a cat over here. Excuse me. They're like watching. They're th oh my god, catception. <laughs> Look, Francisco, I'm living out your fantasies, your your wildest fanciful fantasies. Look, I'm a little kitty. No, 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 you can't be up on the desk though. Um, okay, so there's the cowboy. I need to figure out how to get to Elliot's again. Um, <laughs> they're so, they're so, like, interested and invested now. Hello again. What do you want now? This is a set of electrical cable. I have... <gasps> Yay! Okay, and then let's pick up this. Three? I thought it was two! Hmm. Okay. So where where is Elliot again? There's no map, is there? Oh, but... Uh, yes, here's some more music. The way you compute tonight. Oh, that's a nice one. Hear me out. <gasps> wow, I love this song. Francisco, I'm a kitty. I'm a little kitty. Oh, have I? Okay, I've already inspected that. Okay, um, I'm still kind of lost. Um, 
So this is the bar. But how did I get to, how did I get to what's his names again? To Elliot's. He needs to read the code so I can open that safe. Uh, uh, I'm assuming. Okay, so grandma is this way. Uh, is Elliot? Oh, well, here's grandma. Hello, little one. Do you have an electrical cable for me? Thank you, dear. I'll get to work on it right away. Look at her knitting away. Knitting for a kitten. <gasps> oh, I have a little poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Well, let me give you... <gasps> let me give you a nuzzle, Grandma. Thank you for the poncho. Uh, goodness me. Uh Announcement. Okay. So we already we already read that. Oh, is this is this where Elliot is? Is he is he back here? Um can't remember. I was literally- oh, I think he's right here. No, that's Grandma. Um... Oh, he's right here. Uh... Open up! Let me in! Meow. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Meow, 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 meow. Hello. Yes, can I help you? You want me to read this binary cone? Just a second, I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means Duffer du du Bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Okay, so now I have to go to the bar? Okay, so we'll head down to the bar and can I hop up here? Hello, Billy. What about? It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Interested for some drink. Um, maybe the guy upstairs can read the code? The code? Carl! It's a very old binary code. Oh no. This is such a captivating game to watch. I mean, to just watch the new streamer Osto introduced us for a minute or two. Ended up lurking here for a while so far. <laughs> well, welcome in Optic Out. Hello, hello. I I mean, I'm already like very much enjoying the game. I I like Oh, sheet music. I'll take that. I I could literally just run around in this game forever. I'm living, I'm living my wildest, my wildest fantasies right now. Scratching all the furniture and nuzzling all the legs and just being a tiny little kitty is, is a, is a dream come true. They really need the fluidity of cat motion. Yeah. Apparent, like, uh, they, they really did a good job. Oh, Teddy, can you help me? Uh, oops. 
No thanks, I'm not thirsty. Uh, can you read this code? Only a real geek can read this. Well, if Elliot can't read it, I guess we'll just have to find a different bar? Um... I just love, like, jumping up on everything, too. Like, it really is like when I watch, you know, when I watch the boys just kind of move around and walk around the house. Oh! Boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop! Are you looking for a number in the bar? Oh, I could be looking for a number in the bar. Okay, but I, I, got, I got the last energy drink. Apparently, they use two cats to mow cat to mo cat it. One aesthetically and one for movement. Yeah, I uh, I saw the um, I saw like the tweet where it was like, yeah, here's uh, here's the cat we used like the inspiration for our 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 hero of Stray, and I'm like, <laughs> I would die for this kitty. I can't remember their name off the top of my head though. Naki, shh. No, uh, I, 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 I appreciate it. Um. Jump. Oh, and there's some more sheet music, I think. Uh, there we go. Yay, sheet music. Um, okay, down. <gasps> What's in here? This is somewhere we haven't been. And I really, really am enjoying the music as well. The like subtle music changes are really, really nice. Okay, so these are just newspapers music sheets or anything. <laughs> Francisco is so interested in what is going on. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. But not yet. Not quite yet. I still have many, many things to sniff and explore. Boop. Um, oops. Um. Boop. Okay, up here. <gasps> oh, poor little, poor little guy. I'm not spoiling. That's all information already provided. Can you put the poncho? Oh, I should put the poncho on. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copy this behavior. New memory recovered. Uh, poncho, uh, show. This looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. Uh, 
Oh, I, I think I give it, I think I have to give it to, I think I have to give it to a robot. I don't think I, the kitty, can put it on, which is slightly disappointing because I would love to be a kitty cat in a poncho, but alas, it does not seem that I am able to wear it. <gasps> Bamboozled. Deception. Disgrace. I know. Oh, I want to wear the poncho. Admittedly, it does look a little big. Oh, I can't. I can nuzzle him too. I like how it's like I'm 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 showing them the meaning of love again. I have my three energy drink cans. <gasps> Yes, remember. Deception. Disgrace. I want to wear poncho all over the place. Thank you. Thank you, Exile. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. They're good. They're good robots. Good robots. Okay. Um... So let's head over to the bar and see if I can find the number. Ah, I see. Uh, 0476. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, 1283. 1283. 1283. 1283. Now I have to remember where that safe is. 1283. Um. Can I can I give you the poncho? I recognize grandma's style. She's very talented, you know. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? <laughs> One, two, eight, three. Catnell's a guardian. They're on duty. Too late. I've already distracted them. Distracted them with my cute beans. And my adorable little tail. <laughs> Thank you, Neki, for putting the code in the chat, though. I very much appreciate it. One, two, eight, three. Um... Now, if I could remember... Uh... Is it down this way? Hmm. I know it's in... It's at the end of an alleyway. Up here, per... per snaps? Uh, down here. Okay, now this takes me back to the central hub. Help, I'm lost. Help, I'm a little ki I'm a little kitty in a big city. Can I nuzzle you? Can I nuzzle your leg? No, okay. I suppose not. I just want to show all the robots how to love. Oh, wait, is it back here? No. I think it is around here, though. I have some more. Here we go. Tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. This is bliss. This is bliss just to be a little kitty. Uh, can I get into the low vents? Uh, we'll, we'll try it. I'll, let me go back over there and see. Mm, 
nothing to interact with yet, but I might be able to do it in the future. Uh, I think I have one more. Yes, Ballad of the Lonely Robot. I think I can play this. Look. Ah, here we go. Okay, one, one, two, eight, three. People Bob! <gasps> More sheet music. Hey! Hand over more, more music. Play me another beautiful song. Um, unreadable sheet music. Hum, not very readable, but I can still try. Well, this is a happy one. All this quest for a music sheet? But it was the last one. It makes me so happy that, like, the kitty, like, purrs. It just... This is literally just the most amazing video game ever. Everything is perfect and wholesome and amazing. I don't think I've gotten all eight of the music sheets, but I'm sh I'm, I'm hoping. Okay, I think we, we need to find a, a robot who is cold. A robot who is cold. Then I can give the poncho to them. This one's a little Calliope. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um. Do you need? Do you need a blanket? No. Okay, you don't need a poncho. Okay, don't be don't be so upset with me. It wasn't it wasn't all me. I wasn't the I wasn't the one who was playing with the paint. I just happened to get them to spill it. It's fine. I don't think I interacted with this door before. It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it's not the Zerks. Okay, I think actually I have been there. Um. So when I when I originally like uh like saw this game, I thought it was like the cat. I thought the cat was like an errand run like I thought this would be more like a, like a side quest like errand running kind of game. Oh no, I've got the shakes. Why didn't you tell me before, body, that we were hungry? <gasps> Go eat, Neki. Please eat. Don't be so silly. Do not forget to eat. Oh. The circle of lights are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. The outside? Momo told me he'd get me there one day. Oh, okay, so you don't you don't need you don't need a poncho. Um and I did not meet you. Um Oh no, not again! Whoop. 
lurking because spoilers. I hope the game's great. Hi, Remy. No worries. Thank you for your lurk. I really appreciate it. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's it's a joy to play. It's a joy to look at. And I mean, how can I not be happy when I'm a little kitty? So uh, having a wonderful time. Thank you for your lurk. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. These guys are still st flustered about dropping the paint. They aren't helping clean though. <laughs> yeah, they're like, mm, he can clean that himself, right? Um, anybody in here? Hello? Meow? What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. No, it's me, I'm a little kitty. Um, okay, so, I think, oops, um, I have to figure out how to get over to, oops, okay, um, okay, this will take me back over to the central hub. Okay, so there's the orange, there's the neon sign. Okay, so let's, let's start heading up. Meow, up we go. Do, 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 do. Um, there we go. There's Momo's. Okay, so if we go over this way, we hop up here, and boop. Um, I'm assuming we go this way, and we go this way. <gasps> Hello, Momo! Oh no. Oh my god, look at his little rainbow face. Is this a gay robot? Meow. Outsiders. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up and I tried to contact them, but that, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. <gasps> Momo's notebook. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. <laughs> Momo seems sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Oh, look at them. Look at those besties. I want to find my besties too. I'm a cat. I'm a cat with a bag on my head. I'm a cat. I'm a cat with a bag on my head. Raid Shadow Legends is an immersive online experience with everything you'd expect from a brand new RPG title. Not sponsored. Welcome in though, Oreo of Cinder. I hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. 
Look how crazy the level of detail is on these champions. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. But why can I not remember his name? <gasps> Damn, look at this frog. Problem? Quarkin, season one. I wish I had money. Listen, this was the one, this was the one thing that I splurged, that I splurged on. And with my, with my savings for this month and outside of like bills and stuff. And I knew if there was one thing I was going to, if there was one game I was going to splurge on, it was going to be Stray. Because I have to. Because I'm a little kibby. And this is the kitty game. It's the cat game. And I'm, oh, I'm very much enjoying it. Oh, more music. But hey, that's why, that's why we streamers exist. So that, you know, you can experience it as well as watching it. And, and you gotta cut the, the interactive experience with, you know, playing and experiencing with other people. That's what we like to do here. <gasps> I can play with the cat toys! By the way, what's with the hand eyes? Oh, mm, you know, I'm just a little cosmic entity just trying to spread some love and joy and some cheer. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun, the fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billions of years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interactions with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes- oops! Stabilizes the Earth's axis and of rotation and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Yay! Educational. So, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a I'm a VTuber that you know plays a character or anything, but the concept behind like my my Sona um, is a combination of a lot of things that I love. It's a combination of like magical girls and cryptids and kitties obviously so the kind of concept is a cosmic entity saw a magical girl anime and was like wait i want to do that but they wanted to be like the magical girl but also like the magical girl mascot and just willed real real hard i wanted i just wanted to be so cute so bad so bad and then I closed my eyes and I just thought about it real, real hard. And then I came up with this. Wait, you like cats? Huh? Never would have guessed. I know. I know. It's really surprising. It's really surprising that I love cat, that I like cats. It's, it's crazy. Just crazy. Um, and, but yeah, I thought real, real hard and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be that. And then after, after an indeterminate amount of time, I opened my eyes and I had these cute little paws and that they could see and Oreo underscore of underscore cinder says raid shadow legends TM is an immersive online experience with everything you'd expect from a brand new RPG title. It's got an amazing storyline, awesome 3d graphics, giant boss fights, PVP battles, and hundreds of never before seen champions to collect and customize. I never expected to get this level of performance out of a mobile game. Look how crazy the level of detail is on these champions. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> However, um, Oreo, I would appreciate if um, if we could limit the the like spam like that, because um, I do not I do not play Raid Shadow Legends. We are not a Raid Shadow Legends stream. We are a Haleen stream. We are a little Kivy stream. Um, cause I, I really only try to play things that like, I really, really enjoy and things that super interest me. Um, 
Unless it's like, you know, like the meme, the, the Raid Shadow Legends. Um, so just try to limit the spam, um, if at all possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, though. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 400 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Okay, well, we know, we know that there is a sky out there. <laughs> I'm a backseat. Well, please don't backseat game either. Um, I, I would appreciate, like, as little backseat gaming as possible. Uh, like, tips and tricks if I request them is, um, is good. Um, but like I said, only if I'm, like, really, really stuck and I'm like, guys, I don't know what to do anymore. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh, okay. We have to. So okay, so we have to go back there. We already visited this place, but we could check to see if there are other signs like that. Yeah, cause I I, I try to experience the games like, um, as like, uh, as 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 blindly as possible. Um, you know, cause it's my first time playing. Like this is exactly you know this is the day that the game came out. Um, we don't really want a backseat game. I would like to experience the game, like, as, as first time possible as I, as I can. Like, when I'm playing, like, um, obviously, like, uh, for example, Dark Souls 2 is something, you know, that a lot of people have already played, and it's not necessarily a new game, um, but, you know, it's something that, like, we experience together, and if I need help and if I, like, ask for help, you know, people are willing to give that assistance, um, but without, like, backseat gaming. So, I'm back. Needed a quick nap. No worries, relics. Hey, I totally understand that, and I hope that you had a really good nap. Welcome back, my fur- Welcome back, my friend. Um... So we, what am I looking for here? We're showing some new cat, some new cats, the rules about backseating and stuff. Yes, we're just explaining some, some of the rules of the channel. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Another music sheet. Yay! We can give that to our friend. Because a lot of times these are games that have been like sitting in my library for a really, really long time or, you know, things that, like, I just never have gotten around to playing, or it was specifically requested, like, Hale, I would really, really want you to stream this and, like, show it off for everybody. Um, or it was a game that was, like, bought for me, um, or, like I said, requested. Um, and so, like, half the fun for, you know, streaming and playing games for me is, is experiencing it for the first time. Um, there are a few games that I have played on stream where it's like, this is my, this is my second or my third time playing it. Um, but nine times out of ten, um, these are games that I have not played before. And, you know, half of the adventure of, of, of playing a game is, is the not knowing, is, is the, is the mystery, uh, and the discovery and, and learning, and learning the new things about, about the environment and things like that, so... Um, like I said, if I, if I need help, I will absolutely ask for it. Um, but please don't backseat unprompted. That's, that's really my, my big, big request. Um, so. Thank you. Um, well, here's some more paint. Sure would be a shame if a little kitty smashy smashy. This is the true cat simulator. I think the outsiders seem to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. Okay, so I have I have to go up. I have to go further up, it seems. Okay. Uh well let me go back and drop off these music sheets at the very least to our new to our to our musically to our musically inclined friend. Oh, thank you for that music sheet. I will practice. Petite valse. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. Let's see what this one sounds like. I'm 
enjoyed watching, but the chickens, aka velociraptors, need some attention. So time, so, so time for a bit of, so time for a bit. Oh well, enjoy taking care of your chickens. I hope they do not. I hope they do not bite or peck you too too much. <gasps> what a wonderful little song. I want to sing along. The game won't let me. It is limiting my meows. Enjoy your luck and good like I said good luck with your with your velot with your miniature velociraptors um, Cool down, I think I can play this look Oh, I like this one this one's like a little, a little funky a little funky bee Oh, to be, oh, to be a little kitty. As a pigeon owner, I confirm walking birds are little raptors. Oh, oh, we've, we've, we, we know all about Hato. Uh, there, there's, there's nice Hato, and then there's attack Hato. You won't like Hato when he's angry. Um... Okay, so now, now I'm assuming I, now I'm assuming I have to go up. Um, so let's, let's start climbing. Oops. Um. Can't climb up this way. Ooh. I don't know if that was a, uh, if it, that was a sound glitch or what, but that was very, a little jarring. Uh, okay, how, what's the best way for me to get up? Uh, I'm assuming this way is actually pretty good. Want to kiss Hato, smooch, smooch, and he bites my lap. Yeah, that sounds like Hato, and Hato will be like, ooh, ooh, cool, I want to kiss you, papa, and then he's like, nah, and you're like, ah! Sometimes, I mean, sometimes the Francisco and Gaston are like that. I'm like, oh, oh, you want your tummy rubbed? Oh, yeah, we can rub your tum-tum, boys, and then it's like, ah, and I'm like, ah! It's like, why are you so rude to me? I am your mother. I love you. Hello. Excuse me. Sirs. Um. Okay, so let's go this way. And if we can go further up. Uh, so this is Momo. Um. It looks like I can't get any further up from here. Mama hears this from downstairs. Hug me, Hato, hug! Ah! <laughs> and I'm sure she's like, fucking Hato, back at it again. Biting and pecking. Oops! We seem to have broken the pot. Whoopsie! Um, okay, so how do we get further up? Um, can we? Let's take the bucket down. The cutest fast travel ever. Um, so let's go this way and pop there and go up there. Oops. Big jump. Oh, the big, big jump. 
Um. Um. What about? Oops. I don't think I've been back here. At least at this height. Oh, there's another memory down there. Remember, B12, remember! <laughs> Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are clearly desperate times. me any issues. Haha. -ha. I ate cookies. I'll be fine until supper is done. Mmm, what kind of cookies? supply thing isn't gonna I, I really really hope that isn't gonna screw me over uh because i couldn't pick it back up but at least we know where it is right um surely that won't cause any trouble haha <laughs> Two chocolate mint and two cranberry. Mmm. Chocolate mint. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, what is this? Uh, Balthazar's notebook. Nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Z. Both. Balt. I'm assuming it's Balthazar. Balt. Balthazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. 
Let's find other notebooks. Woo! Okay, so I just need to find... I need to find one more notebook. So, let's stay high. Kobus Nero says fourth part of cat facts. <gasps> when your cat shows their belly, it is a sign of trust and a relaxed cat. This is not an invite for belly rub typically. A cat's rear end in your face is a gesture of friendship, while kneading means happiness. Draping their tail over another cat slash dog slash you means friendship also. Meowing is a behavior cats develop to communicate with humans, and they can have up to 100 <laughs> different vocalizations. I did know, I did know about the, uh, like, essentially when a cat, like, meows, it's essentially, like, baby talk, um, in, like, cat language. Um, there is, um, <clears throat> there is a, uh, a TikTok, um, channel, uh, account. Um, listen, I see a belly, I touch, it's so true, I also see a belly, and I'm like, ooh, Ooh, touchy. <gasps> We're gonna watch some TV? Channel surfing. Um, oh, what about? Okay, so I'm assuming this is where we go. Um, so I really don't have, I really don't do TikTok, but my roommate follows a TikTok channel called Poet Cat Square. I've posted about her in the server before. Um, okay, before we do that translation, I'm just gonna walk around here and explain. Um, and essentially this girl poet um, moved to this house um, in, in Arizona, I believe it is. Um, and there is essentially a feral cat colony. Oh my God, this is a little creepy. Um, and she's been essentially like taking care of them, making sure that they get like all the medical needs that they need taken care of. Um, and a lot of the cats are super, super friendly. Um, and so if there is a per particular, um, like very, very friendly cat, she will essentially work to try to get them. Oh, I think that's the last sheet music. Um, she'll essentially work to get them um, to a point where they can be homed with humans. Um, and I think I recently posted about Francois, um, who's, the, who's the most recent cat who um, has finally been uh, permanently homed. Um, and there are some cats that remain um, feral, um, who cannot interact with humans, uh, like the, like the, 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 um, Alpha male, his name is Sad Boy. He's like a 15 year old, like giant fat white cat. Um, and he's so, so sweet. And he has a bonded partner named Lola. Um, and she like just dislikes humans very, very greatly. But Poet has been able to like approach her and like give her like treats and things like that at a distance. She's been able to like lay them out and then been like, Lola. And uh, Lola will come and she'll, she'll munch and eat when she wants to. Um, and recently, one of the other cats, Monkey, um, who is this beautiful, sweet, 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 sweet calico girl, um, Poet was, like, watching her in the yard, and Monkey was, like, showing her tummy to her, um, and all of a sudden, Monkey goes, Burp! and Poet was like, Monkey, did you just, did you just meow? And so, like, it's really, really interesting that these feral cats who did not meow, like, at all, um, you know, are, are developing the, the language skills to communicate with humans. Um, and so that's, it's just really, really interesting to watch. And honestly, she's, like, so, so sweet, and she's so gentle with these cats. And if you have TikTok, please, please, please go check out Poet Cat Square. Um, literally just one of the most, like, incredibly, like, kind and amazing humans on this planet. She is so, so caring for these cats. It just like warms my fucking heart and she constantly posts about them. So that's my, that's my two cents um, of, of, of cat nonsense. So yeah, 
But yeah, no, uh, your your comment just reminded me about about poet, and I was like, ah! uh, okay. Well, I can't use, I can't open that. So what about going over here? Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Aha! It's not enough to bury your safe just behind a bunch of books. Jess, the librarian. Well, let's open up the safe then. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. This, with this, we should be a we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might need to test it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. I hope that this isn't Doc. Oh, he got, they, they got crushed by books. I mean, that would be me. This would be, this would be my, this would be my life. This, this future house with all the books and stuff. Um, it seems this might, that might be it. Unless I can get up. Oh, and of course I missed some things in chat. Sorry, my chat refreshed and that's not usually what, well, it's not, it's not a Hey Haleen stream unless my chat refreshes itself. So hold on, let me just, give me just one second here. This is gonna, the, the music's gonna cut out and it's gonna be a pause screen. So hold on for one hot minute. I just need to refresh chat here. Hold on. Do, 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 do. We're gonna look at chat and catch up on what everybody said in just a second. If, there we go. Four cats on stream. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi, Yuna. Cat see giant human and think, that's a baby. Hi, didn't even say. <laughs> How are you today? It's fine. I rarely say hi. Just jump right into it. Yeah. So, unfortunately, um, like I said, um, my, my back end of Twitch will sometimes literally, like, freeze up. And um, I don't see what people say sometimes. I promise I'm not ignoring you guys. Uh, it's literally, uh, it's literally my Twitch dashboard. So if you think that I am ignoring you, please get my attention with text-to-speech as well. Um, that's another use for text-to-speech is to be like, Hey, Lee, your chat's frozen. Oh, there's something I can interact with on that side. It's okay, but I hope you're having a wonderful day, Yuna. Thanks for popping in. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at this little alcove. Oh, look at how cute they are. I love this cat with all my heart. <laughs> That's something I want to ask you when you have a minute. Yeah, absolutely. What's what's going on? I can do, I will do my best. <laughs> Oops. Uh, how do I turn off B12? I, I forgot. Um, my day has been hot. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. So the reason why the light is off in my bedroom on cat cam is because it's literally, it's so hot that like, it's just, um, Okay, that's how I turn off the light. Nope. Uh, settings, uh, controls, rebind, forward, back, left, run, jump, interact. Now use talk menu light. Ah, there we go. There we go, okay. 
change the channel. But yeah, I totally feel that. Like, it's been sweltering here. And, um... So yeah, like I said, the, the reason why the light is off in my bedroom is uh, because it's way too hot to even have the lights on. Um, and it's just much cooler if we if we keep it dark for, for me and the boys. Um, but if it gets too dark and you're unable to see them, we'll absolutely uh, turn the light back on. Um, but yeah, don't forget to drink water. A friend of mine is putting together a video interview about mental health and VTubing. Would you be up for saying something in it? It's okay if not. We have the hottest ever on record, 40 Celsius. Oh gosh, yeah, I can only imagine. Um, yeah, if you want to send me some of the info about it, I would love to. I would love to be able to connect with them. I think that would be great. Something in it. Okay, how do I get back to Momo? Where is Momo again? Um, there's the depot. Oh, Momo is literally right there. Um, boop, boop. Yeah, I'll just, I'll literally just say something, something in it. No, I would, I would say something very arty. Very articulate. But yeah, I would definitely love to, uh, I would love to, um, I would love to say something. Hello, Momo. I brought your notebooks. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh, you found Clementine. Got her tweet. Uh, where should I send the link or do you want me to at you in the replies? Um, if you, you can, uh, if you want to either DM me on Twitter, um, that actually, yeah, D, just DM it to me on Twitter and I'll take a look at it after stream. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I ever met. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the outsiders. I'm also the last remaining one. That's Balthazar's notebook, right? Never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very, very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. It means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, I'm so sorry I doubted our cause. I promise I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find a way up. Now let's fix this pe now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Sent. It's an honor to DM you. Aw, thanks, Yuna. Um listen, I'm just a little kibbe. It's it's all you guys that help me be amazing. But yeah, I'll definitely take a pe I'll definitely take a peek see at that after um after after stream. It voila! It works! Come with me! I love this- I love this funky little robot. robot. Up there! See that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky! I'll do my best. Why can I not talk anymore? Okay. All right, let's go put the transceiver all the way on top of that big building. All right. Boop. I love this game so much. This game just makes me so happy. And it is, uh, it's such a joy. Like, it's such a joy to watch. It's such a joy to play. I, I just am loving this. And like, it's a lot more, um, it's a lot more like plot heavy. Who built all those catavators? I don't know. 
but they sure were very, very helpful. Oh, somebody lost their arm. trying to meow to attract enemies, but for some reason... But for some reason, my meow is not going. Hey! Can you boys behave, please? Uh... Ah! Listen, I am trying to meow video game. away from stream for a second heard a very different catavators raffle no worries it could also be me just just stumbling over my words like i always be doing why can't i meow anymore Ugh! Run, little kitty, run! Meow. Okay, so we hop up here. What if I, uh, settings, Con controls, rebind. What if I want to change my meow button? Back to defaults, yes. Maybe that will do it. There we go. That was weird, okay. It's not like I changed any of the controls, but for some reason, meow was not working, so. Now it does. <gasps> remember, B12, remember! The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps. Lamps. Neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting up lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Yeah, this game is is very it is very deep. It has some very um some very um interesting um some interesting commentary about about dystopia and um and like freedom so i'm really excited to see like possibly where the rest of the game is going um oh i have to okay so i have to move this meow 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 my freedom here now and you know i think one of the interest one of the most interesting things is like um like seeing so like seeing the things with like spikes on it because there's so much of like um like nature that like has like anti-nature like birds can't sit on like certain trees because we've installed essentially like anti you know anti-nature things where nature should be and so it's just really interesting to see like that application of um, technology in the game as well um, because like that just kind of shows how it just kind of continues to show how like we we humans make it so difficult for 
nature to, like, exist. Oh! Get off of me! Ah! Get off of me! No! Those zerks got me! No! Kitty, no! <laughs> Okay, round two. Francisco is enjoying watching the game too. He's like, there's a cat on the screen and it's not me. Are those vampire cannibal cats? They're like, they're like leeches kind of. They're like organic technological leeches of some sort. It's... Ha! Meow, you cannot get me. Meow, ha 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 ha. Do, do, do. Hi, Francisco. Yuna says hello, Francisco. I I actually uh, unplugged my headphones and like had the cat like meowing, and like they got up and they were like, "Huh? What's going on? Who's who's that talking to me?" Oh. So you can see, like, there's, like, this, like, organic matter on, like, everywhere, and, like, they, so, like, the Zerks, like, eat anything. They'll eat metal, they'll eat organic matter, they'll, they'll, they, they kind of have taken over. And, uh, I don't think we know the origins right now. I think the, the thing that I kind of equate them to is, like, leeches, kind of. Ooh, I'm assuming that these are where they are born out of. Yeah, Francisco. We're playing cat game. Uh-oh. Well, this seems like a very precarious situation if you ask me. Ooh. Ooh, it's like moving. Ooh. Ooh, that's 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 scary. Um See, they'll like try to get up at me. Every time I showed my cat a game with a cat in it, she looked at me like, that doesn't make sense. Those aren't real words. I wonder what's changed now. So apparently they, they did a lot of motion capture with cats as well as I'm, I'm assuming they did like vocal capture for cats as well. Cause they seemed very, very, they seem very, very curious about what the, what the, what to heck. But also, my boys do be a little goofy sometimes. They do be. Ooh, I'm glad I, I'm. Well, I'm glad I didn't go over there. Um. What is over there, though? So I can hack this door. I'm assuming I don't really need to go over there. And I'm not even going to bother. <gasps> A memory! What are you gonna remember this time? Nek Nico Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. 
Okay, so it was a it was something biological that they created to Okay, so I am gonna have to hack this door. So it was something they created to try to like get rid of like hazardous things and didn't didn't quite work. Ooh! This way. I know a way to get rid of the Zerks. I smoosh, I smooch, I smoosh them. Um, so what do I do? Oh, I see. We'll hop up there, and then we go up there. Ha ha! Look at me! I'm such a smart kitty! Uh-oh. Yay! Murder! Just a little bit of murder. Listen, it's, e it's either me or them! Hop. Whoop. Do, 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 do. And I would like to have our kitty live if 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 possible I would perf I would prefer But um smooch them but don't smooch them no smooching Transceiver on this antenna. Uh, what? And oh, here we go. Whew, okay. It's all lighting up. And this is how one little kitty saved the world. Right, Francisco. Right, Francisco. Right, Francisco. Good boy! Good boy! What? <laughs> Me too. You know what? Me too, Bubba. Meow! 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 Oh, you go boogie. You go boogie. Can I see your face? Go boogie. You go boogie in your eyeball. There you go. Look at the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. 
Those look like stars, but they are only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But you come from there. It must mean it's safe again. But, and my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others are not. But I am certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now we've known. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. <gasps> okay. I bet you're glad they're both boys. Stream could get a bit uh, 18 plus otherwise. Um, well, here's the thing. Uh, they're gay. So they, well, Francis, Francisco will not, but Gaston will uh, get a little horny sometimes because he's just a bit stupid. Neutering them did nothing. <gasps> the slums part two, electric boogaloo. A note, look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the air, the air antenna. Come meet me there. Electric boogaloo. You're ahead of me now. Well, I understand if you don't want to see anything further than than this than this uh, exile. So if you want to lurk, if you want to take some time, no worries. I definitely understand. My, why does my mind immediately say I want to see that now? It's. Listen, it looks like they're cuddling, but um, then I look over and I'm like, Gaston! And he like immediately jumps up and runs away because he knows he's not supposed to do it. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. This must be a code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was, hmm, I think an H, I think. Error, wrong key. I mean, cat porn is sexy. <laughs> what? Becky, no. Let's try that again. Was that an O or was it a zero? Let's see. Success, it worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. All right, to the bar. Oh, that, that robot's still cleaning up the paint. Listen, there will be no cat porn on my cat cam. Not in my, not in my holy, in, not in my Christian Minecraft server. My friend and I love tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean fun. Our downstairs neighbors disagree. So now we're taking a break right now. Oops. Francisco yelps of pain must give it away, surely. Nope. He's never in pain. He, he'll he literally just sit there. He's stupid. He literally is, he's so dumb. Francisco is, is truly a himbo to the end, let me tell you. He's, he's my baby boy baby, but my God, is he stupid. Oh, quit, quit. Quit whining at me, Mr. Robot. Um, okay, where? I need to go to the bar, but I also want to go talk to the musical robot. Musical robot, where did you go? Musical robot, my dear fellow, reevaluating everything I know. It's. L listen, he's not. He's not like. I really don't want to talk about cat sex, but he's not having cat sex. He's not, like, actually, like, having sex with him. He's just humping him because 
they're both neutered, so it's not like anything can happen, and they're both boys, and just Gaston gets a little horny sometimes because they're both stupid. So it literally, like, it's, they're just, they're literally just laying there. Oh, thank you for that music. Hey, that's the last music sheet. You've done well, little one. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. <gasps> I got a music badge! Mildly important information. This one was composed by a renowned algorithm. Look at them, they're sleeping. Okay, let's drop this. My head is disturbed enough. <laughs> right, you're just stupid. You're just stupid and gay, the two of you. Gaston is also looking very intently at the monitor right now. Naki's the same with me. Just humps my leg even though... <laughs> well, you two are married, so... I guess... Oh my god, I can meow in my sleep. This is the greatest... This is the greatest video game. There are no other video games ever anymore. This is it. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Guardian? You look lost. What do you need? Okay. Um, the bar. The bar's over here. It's like heavy rain with that meowing. Hi, Momo. Hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. <gasps> Essie! Essie needs to go and isn't here, but she loves you. Hail Raid. Oh! Oh! Hey, everybody! Welcome in! Oh, thank you, Essie, for the raid! Hello, Kukushi! Hello, Mercia! Oh, hello, everybody! Oh, my God! Essie, thank you so much for the raid! And as per usual, we give the boys some treats here for a raid. How long did it take you to get that hundred meows? Not long at all. Welcome in, raiders. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness, it's my fee. It's some of my favorite people. Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Some of you know me, some of you may not. But hello, my name is Haleen, and I'm a neon binary variety VTuber with a focus on burning through my backlog of video games and uh, f focusing on positive mental health. Bahari! No, you're cute, Bahari! I'm, cry I'm crying in the club right now. Hi, Kukushi! Hello, hello, hello! I'm crying right now! Okay, well, let me give a good old shout out to our good friend, to our good friend, Essie Opal. If you guys don't know Essie, Essie is just one of my favorite people. She's a member of Purs Maria, and she has some of the most amazing, chaotic content. She has the most Infectious laugh. And it's just one of the most amazing people ever. Oh, that one worked. Ask Aqua. Oh my god. If the clip that I just made showed up. Oh, thank you for the pets. Thank you, Bahari, for the follow. But yes, I love Essie Opal so, so much. And I love. Of course, you can pet me. My head is always available for the pets. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you so much for the follow, Bahari. And welcome in again, everybody. I am loving Stray so much right now. Um, this is, I usually do not play games that are like immediately released, um, but like, I'm a little kitty. I gotta play the little cat game. And <gasps> thank you for the pets. Meow, 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 meow. Um, and I'm loving it so far. It's it's different than I expected. I I thought it was gonna be more like you're a little cat courier and you're trying to find out where your owner is. And nope, it's literally you're a feral cat and you're trying to figure out how to get back to your other feral cat friends and you're stuck in this city and you just make robot friends and there's a little bit of dystopia and a little bit of social commentary and the soundtrack is amazing. I love this little cat and it's just, it, it's amazing. I'm loving it so far. And I have just been like, oh my God, I literally got up at five, five o'clock this morning 
to ensure that it would actually install, because I was really nervous, because it said that the game released on the 20th, and I was like, but Google says it releases on the 19th. So I've literally been like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, all day. Did we decide on a name yet? No, actually we didn't. I've just been calling it our little guy, our, li our, little, our little kitty. I've kind of just decided to have them remain nameless. But yes, I'm loving, I'm loving, loving, loving the game so far. Um, right now we have just helped our little robot buddy Momo um, fix a transceiver so we can talk to the rest of this uh, sheltered city. Um, that we're trying to help and we're trying to open up the open up the city what francisco what do you want you can't have another treat and you're not gonna eat dinner right this very moment call it nemo it means nobody <gasps> that's a good one so we've got we got louie we have nemo oh and what did gazan suggest what did gazan suggest it was it was orange in in spanish i'm trying to remember how i pronounce it what what, Francisco? Francisco, can't he? Well, I suppose we'll give them some more treats as long as it doesn't ruin their dinner. There you go. There you go. There you go, my sweet little boys. Well, that tied you. Let, let him have his treat, my goodness. Naranja, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the posture check, Kokushi. Okay, so let me see if I can get this thing working. So Momo is trying to like contact the rest of the city. Um, hmm. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We are looking for a way out and Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo. Psh. I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. Psh. We are safe. Psh. We found a way up. Psh. Hey! Can you behave? Get off the bed if you're not gonna behave. H hello do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Psh, zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it. We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Balthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place if the, in the slums. But if Balthazar made it, there must be a way. I love our little robo- I love Momo. Look at his little robo- his little rainbow face. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make you a quick- they'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. What's up with him? He's acting up today. And they, it, it, it's five o'clock, um, which is about the time when they get hungry, but dinner is at six. So he's essentially like, I'm hungry. I want food. I want food now. The sewers are the most dangerous place. Let's go. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. What are we, what are we gonna do, Louie? Huh. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. <gasps> that, Doc was his dad! A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus's apartment. Come on, follow me. You want dinner? You want dinner so bad? Wait, 
you're gonna have to wait, Francisco. So now we get to follow our good, our good friend. Oh yes, and so like, since I'm a little kitty, I can put a bag on my head and it like messes up my controls. And uh, now I have a little, now I have a little bag on my head. Oh, now I'm, and I'm stuck in this corner now. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. And if I walk in the paint, then I get like little paw prints with paint on it. This game is so amazing. I love this video game. This is the greatest, this is the greatest video game ever. Still cleaning. When cat gets really hungry, they eat human eyes, apparently. Yep, they do They do go for the eyes first. But that's okay. I, I know they won't eat my eyes. Come on, Seamus. Open the door. I know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you! I think I have an idea. <gasps> Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. <gasps> Gain a new item back. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Seamus! Where are you, Seamus? What are you doing here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What are you doing in here? I told you. Oh, wait. Uh, show item. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Um, well, let's try to find the secret room. Oops. Suicide mission. <laughs> let's fucking go. Um, oh, you know, in true cat fashion. Getting through the sewers is a sewer side mission. <laughs> Time will tell. I've never noticed that digit code before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Seamus, come look at this. Oh, oh he's thonking. Um, is there anything else that I can mess around with? will tell. I gotta go. Thanks for the stream and the image and the images in my head. Love you. Mwah. Bye, Yuna. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friend. Take care of yourself and drink lots and lots of water. Don't let, don't, don't let the heat get you down. Um. Hmm, what could the code be? Is it one, two, three, four? No. One, two, 
Hmm. Oh shit. Okay, well I can't get out. So I'm stuck in this realm. <laughs> so true though. Okay, wait. Six, nine, six, nine. Now, damn it. Hmm. Time. Time will tell. Um. Two, five, one, one. Two, five, one, one. <laughs> Zero, four, twenty. Uh. Two, five, one, one. Aha! Look at me! I'm. Zero escape, really pull, real, the zero escape brain cell really popped out there. I've never seen this room before. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working. Oh. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Oh, there's a like a Zerk. Your training arc is complete. <gasps> I'm so smart. Uh, Deflexor blueprint. Concept light based handgun. Low priority. Visual appearance, size, decibel emitted. High priority. Test in real condition. Objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. I mean, hey, that's a uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty powerful weapon. Um find anything interesting in here? Not yet. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kind of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Hmm. Okay. What about this box here? <gasps> I found the, a broken tracker. Let me talk to you. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa used to use that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Oops. I almost decided to take this box with me. Um. Okay, so let's, I think we gotta head back to the bar. Yes. Momo. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Interesting device, but it looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help. Did you ask at the bar? You're new around here. What can I do? What a beautiful object, and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented and just a little... Well, you'll see. 
His name's Elliot. His office is just left to here near Grandma's shop. <gasps> Alright, let's go see Elliot then. Um Well here's here's grandma. Ah, here we go. Elliot programming. Open the door. Excuse me, coming through. Yes, can I help you? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR-2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. Can't work when I'm shivering like this. <gasps> well, I have the perfect thing for you. Grandma made this. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! Fix tracker! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. And down we go. Alright, now we gotta find the bar which is back here. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting? So is this one of those new game consoles? Uh, oh, I think I have to go to Seamus as. Um, oh God, where Seamus is is around. Aha! Yeah, it's around the corner here. Did you manage to fix that track? Did did you manage to fix the tracker? You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Look at all them silly robots. They're talking to a cat. Give it here. I know, right? <laughs> Look at Gaston. In Look at Gaston in the webcam, though. Look at him. He's like watching the screen. Oh, look at his little robot face. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker and maybe we'll find where my Papa went. I'm a little kitty. I like how this cat is also like, listen, I'm, I'm just trying to get back to my house. I just want to get back to my family. Let Gaston play! Gaston, do you want to play? Gaston, do you want to play? You wanna play? No. However, Francisco's like, I want food. Gaston be like, I am looking. Oh, you know, just giving, just giving everyone a little, a little nudge. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be f sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Alright. Does this lead to the sewers? No fear. No fear, no fear, Nemo.
By the way, all of the meows, if, if um, for, for those of us just joining, uh, all of the meows, even in the cutscenes, are me. There is literally a dedicated meow meow button. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. Oh, I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Oh my god, look at the cute little badge! It's like, oh! It's like a little O face. I'll open the door for you. I'm sorry. I can't go any further. I'm not as fast. Thank you, Seamus. So this is when the game turns into a survival horror. You know, it kind of already has been. It's like half run away from monsters and half like little cat does does errands. But I, I love it. I'm loving I'm loving it atmospherically, soundtrack wise, uh, gameplay wise, like Ooh. Like I am just loving this game on every on every single level. Get away. was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh no, not the limping. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. It's just a rug burn, it's fine. Just a flesh wound. I haven't even been at work for an hour and I already have a headache. Oh no, Zaya, I'm so sorry, honey. We'll make sure you're drinking water at the very least. And take some meds if you have anything. Um. Before, before I, hold on. Okay, what about this way? Enjoy your lurk, Draco. <gasps> a memory. Drink water, find a quiet place, and close your eyes for a bit. Yeah, absolutely. 
I hope the creators of this game are, are ready to be rich from this or the earnings of this masterpiece. Yeah, so please take it easy if if at all possible. Make sure that you <gasps> Hi Helios. Yes, water sips my Red Bull. No, Zaya. Hi Helios. Oh my god, I love your new emote. It's so cute. But yes, stream is going so well. I love I, I love this game. I hope. Just like what Neki just said, I really hope the creators are ready to be fucking rich because it's so good. Ah! The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little college cottage, fishing all day long. But of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and no one could have done it for at least a hundred years. I pop some Tylenol. Okay, good, 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 good. At least you're taking something. When we get to the outside. What if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. It might be just the chem smell is pretty bad today. Yeah, that could definitely do it. Oh no, I missed a memory somewhere. Diggity darn. Alas, we will not be able to 100%. Milo? Well, gotta play the game again. Oh no, I have to play the game again. Well, diggity darn. Whatever will I do? It's an electric generator but it seems to require some other part to function. They're deep cleaning all the tile and linoleum today. Yeah, oh yeah, that would absolutely, that would definitely uh, cause irritation. That would definitely give me a headache for sure. Ah, oh, that sucks. And that's like, listen, I know it has to be done, but does it have to be done today when I'm here giving me a headache? Hello? So I have to find an electrical part somewhere. Oh, there are zerks nearby. I heard them. I heard them do their little squeak. I go in there. Okay, so this, okay, that's just the other direction. Damn. I, I'm like mildly annoyed at myself for not picking up that, the memory that I missed, but you know, it can't be helped. If I get like 99% in like one playthrough, hey, that'll be pretty good. If you look at memories, doesn't it show a preview? Um, it, it like, it, so like, like it has a pop-up, like, uh, like it shows up like the A button. It'll like say like, look at memory. Um, but I think I missed one. I didn't find it. You can't get me. I'm out. I'm out here, and you're in there. <gasps> Doc. Oh. Whoa. Wait. You're not a zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. Oh, I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Let's get some chill, chill tunes.
Hey! Be careful with that defluxer! At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti! This baby needs 1.20- Ah! <laughs> I, 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 I see the reference. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is, it won't start. I think a fuse blew. And with all that zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace that fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. One point twenty-one gigawatts. He's even kind of got like Doc's hair from what's it called from Back to the Future. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Yay! Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, charge the change the fuse, and meet me back here. Best of luck, little buddy. Wow. Down we go. All right. Across the way. No, my three favorite streamers are on at the same time. Why must you torture me so? <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry. Well, clearly I'm playing little cat games, so you gotta stick around. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Put that thing in there. Oi. <laughs> Hi, welcome back, Exile. Uh-oh, that's not great. Oh, there's Doc. Because Twitch is so stupid. It's like, you can only actually be on two streams at the same time. It's like, you can't support more than two people at the same time. Like, what if I want to support all of my friends? How dare you, how dare you actually make me choose between who I'm supposed to support? I want to support everybody. Amazing. You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely way out here. Our way out here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Aw oh, man, B12's getting a gun? Fortunately for me, I only watched two streamers and the second starts 30 minutes before Hale ends, so it's pretty a pretty seamless transition that fills my entire shift. Hey, All according to Keikaku. It worked! The Disfluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there! It's not meant to run off such a small power source, so if you use too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son! I don't know, I think running away from them is a, pre is a pretty good dealio. Oh my god, I just- I'm obsessed with this little cat and their little beans and everything about them. Okay, so how do I use my defluxer? B12, get the gun! Take out all the zerks we can get through! Hold left button. It's working great, but as I success suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool a bit when that happens. I hope it'll last until we reach the village. Yeah, let's just give this cat a gun. And this cat I found! Pew 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 pew! Yeah. 
Just hold the cat like a machine gun and just go. Da, 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 da. The switch doesn't work. Looks like the electricity's been cut. What you got there, kitty? Meow. Gunfire. So if I do this and hop that way. Meow! Da -da 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 I like how he's not even paying attention to like what I'm doing back here. I'm just rolling this barrel for funsies. Just be a silly little kitty. Sometimes I hold my cat like a bazooka, raise her tail, and pretend I'm shooting from her butt. <laughs> the pussy cannon has been primed, sir. Okay. Sorry, I had to allow the I had to allow the pussy to be uh to be set on stream. Um. Down we go. Okay. A to retry. I think my one complaint is that when you faint, this loading screen in particular, this one's this one's a bit of a chonkster. This one's a bit of a chonky loading screen. Automata and I are trapped in an eternal bloodied combat. It's okay. If Anoma doesn't fight somebody at least like twice a stream, um, is it really a Hey Haleen stream? Absolutely not. What the fuck? Damn, they like, they jump me quick. Okay, I need to like have my finger on the left about on the left button immediately. Close one. Let's get back home. Man, I wish my cats were like this well behaved and and so um so eager to assist. But alas, my cats are stupid. Very dumby. Oh, 
Seamus. Seamus and his dad. Oh, Papa. Oh, look at the heart. They are simply transients existing in our time, those fruity little lads. Even the guard guardian was petting me. Thank you for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Really impressive, Doc. Nobody has survived that long in the dead city. So you survived the Zerks after all. You have ten do you have the ten cans you owe me? Oh, and did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy he's back. This Oh, I already talked to Daddy. Hi, Teddy. What's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy. Do you know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him I came back from that damn place. Oh. Who are, who's this? Look at all that great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the barterman. There's something for everyone over there. Oh, everyone's so happy. I am healing the hearts of the robots. There's a robot missing his body here. Hmm. Hmm. Not this one. Not that one, though. Uh, okay. So where is the entrance to the sewers, then? Um. He's waiting for me by the entrance to the sewers. Is that Momo? Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Cause I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Um, I think so. I mean, I'd like to find that last memory, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Um. Hmm. And I doubt that there's a guide that will tell me where the memories are at this moment because this game literally just came out. So yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna head into the sewers. The memory is in the mind. It's all in my head. Woo! Okay, so nothing back there. I can't believe we found Doc and got the defluxer. With this, now we can go find Balsazar. Let's go.
am going to put up the BRB screen, uh, and we're going to start listening to some lo-fi, lo-fi music, um, because I'm going to go feed the cats, um, and I am actually going to also make some food for myself, uh, because my tummy is growling, and I'm assuming it's because I had, like, a late breakfast, but it's also been a few hours since I've eaten, so, um... If you don't mind, I'm just going to make some food real quick. Um, and I'm going to, like I said, feed the cats. So if you just want to hold tight and just keep keep holding on, um, I should be back in hopefully less than hopefully less than 30 minutes. I'm hoping that cooking will not take a super long time. So I'm just going to be right back because, again, Strummer needs to eat the way I have to listen the desire to listen to honkai music now. I mean, you can listen to honkai music. You can do whatever you want. This is your time now. It's BRB time. Don't forget to stretch. Don't forget to drink some water. And if you guys need to, don't forget to eat as well. I will return it. Two shakes of a cat tail. Oh.
Okay. Hello. I am back. And now I have food. I have foods. I made some I had some like frozen fish that I was defrosting in the in the fridge and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cook this. So I uh I just put that all up on the fish fry and um yum 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 yum. I'm gonna just take a few bites of this. And then we'll start, and then we'll jump back into, uh. And then we'll jump back into Stray. It makes me wonder how, like, actually short this game is, because, I mean, I heard it was pretty short. Um. But. So I would like to finish it all today. Um. But obviously, if I don't, then we will finish it tomorrow. Um, depending on how long that takes, question mark. Um, we'll probably just end up playing it by ear tomorrow. Um, if it comes down to it, what I'm thinking is we will finish Stray and then hop back into Final Fantasy XIV. And pick up the adventures of our little of our little Kimmy boy um or I could try something completely different um because there are a couple of games that um that um a few friends got for me during the steam summer sale that I would love 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 to try um or possibly just some like um yeah we would do, we would probably just try out a few of those games. Um, or we could have another impromptu community day. Community day. Um, but like I said, that kind of just depends on if we finish straight today or if we stream or if we finish it tomorrow. Um, actually, I was kind of worried that this would be, that this fish would be too fishy. And that it was gonna taste bad because it was frozen. Actually, pretty diggity darn good. Um, I put this seasoning on it that I got from the Renaissance Fair. Um, and it is a it's called the Cannonball Run seasoning. And it's got like big hunks of like crystal sea salt, um, black pepper, garlic. I'm actually probably gonna have to grab the bottle um for the full ingredients but the thing is is it also has tea in it um and i tried it on chicken the other day and i was like i mean this is okay on chicken but this is gonna go excellent on fish i bet and so i put it on the fish and it is excellent on the fish oh my god this is actually so fucking good and then I put my homemade, um, like, scallion ranch on top. Oh my god. I'm a pretty good cook sometimes. Once I get, once I get probably, like, a better laptop, because unfortunately my Chromebook is good for, like, working in bed and watching movies and playing games in bed. I can't stream off of it. So if I ever get into a position where I get can get a better laptop, I would love, love, love guys to bring back cooking streams. Like those are so fun. And they're super, like they're so fun to do. They're so fun to interact with everybody. Um, I love trying new recipes. I love sharing recipes with people. And I like teaching people how to cook. You know, there's so many people that I know personally, not necessarily in the audience, who are like, oh my god, this is so good, can you teach me the recipe, or like, I'll talk about the food that I cook, and they're like, oh man, I'd love to, I'd love to cook something like that. And I've been like, well, I could teach you, I could, you know, because I've live streamed through Discord, um, 
so maybe we'll do maybe we'll bring maybe we'll do it through discord i don't know i just want to bring back cooking streams because cooking is something like besides writing and video games cooking is like the other thing that i'm really really passionate about it's like one of my top favorite things before i decided to go to school for psychology I actually wanted to go to school to be, um, to go to culinary arts. Um, but the more I researched, the more expensive I thought it was. And then I realized that a lot of the things that they teach, I can really just learn from home. So I decided to not do it. However, if I did go to culinary school, I would love to go into a pastry program because Pastry and baking is the one thing that I'm really bad at. Um, I guess not necessarily bad at, but like any skill, it's something that I have not had the time to refine. Um, and, you know, I just don't really get a lot of inspiration for baking. But I do get a lot of inspiration for cooking. Um, so... That's something that I would love, love, love to do in the future is to either bring back cooking streams or, um, I mean, the cooking, the, the private cooking lesson is still a top, a top point item. So there are, there are definitely opportunities for you guys to learn from me and I would love, love, love to teach you, but it just, you know, it hasn't, it hasn't come up yet. So just kind of spitballing some ideas while I'm while I'm munching on uh, on my rice. Oh yeah, and I put the um I talked about it the other day. I got this ghost garlic ghost pepper soy sauce. And I put that on some like instant sticky rice from Costco. Yum yum yum. Thank you to my roommate. And oh my god. It is literally the best soy sauce that I've ever had in my entire life. It's really spicy. But holy shit, like the depth of flavor in it is like insane to me. It is absolutely like insane. I could have really talked to that guy about cooking for like hours if it wasn't so fucking hot out. But so yeah, if you guys want like an amazing, like amazing sauces, please, please, please go check out the Saucy Wench on Facebook. Um... And I posted actually the link to their shop in our Discord server. Um, just a fucking amazing. They do barbecue sauce. They do ketchup. They do mustards. Like they do all kinds of condiments. Like, holy shit. It's so spicy and I literally cannot stop eating it. It's so fucking good. Like it's addictively spicy and I love it so much. And it's, you know, I, I, I personally try to like shop small as best that I, that I possibly can. And so meeting somebody who had such a passion for cooking and, and creating things from cooking, um, I guess kind of reignited my passion for food. Not that it ever went away, but it was, it was very refreshing for, for me personally. Like, Sorry, I was taking a bite. Um, yeah, like his his energy when he was talking about his recipes and, and creating the spice blends and things like that was just honestly so infectious. So the Saucy Wench on Facebook, um, you can get to their shop from there. Um, or like I said, if you're in our Discord server, um, we have the chat Alton Brown's Good Eats, <laughs> which is our food chat. Uh, uh -oh. Excuse me. Um, please, please, please go check them out because, like, I promise you will not regret it. Addictive. Addictive! Alright. We're gonna do probably one more song. Let me check how long this one is. Oh, uh, this is like two minutes? Okay. We're just gonna do, like, another two minutes so that I can finish, uh, eating. And then we'll be hopping back in a stripe. So thank you everybody for your patience. I very much appreciate it. Because when you're hungry, you're hungry, you know? One, of, one part of it, part of promoting mental health is 
you know, making sure you're taking care of yourself and making sure that you are reading your body. And I mean, I could have been sitting there playing Stray in the dark for the whole rest of the night, but my body was telling me, you need to eat. And, you know, it's really important that you listen to your body. Um, whether it's water, whether it's sleep, whether it's food, whether it's, you know, just, just rest, not even sleep, but just rest, like doing nothing. Gotta listen to your body. It's very, very important. And it's a learned skill. Like taking your, taking care of yourself does not come easy. I, I say this from so much experience of failing to take care of myself for years and years and years that taking care of yourself is is such a learned skill and you guys have heard me talk about mental health and and things like that so you guys kind of know my stance and um you know i just really want to be able to kind of promote looking inward and going okay what do i need today and I know that's really, really hard, but even just taking that one minute to go, what do I need today? Um, can, can really, really change, change the day. So that's my little spiel. I want to put a drink of water because I still got that spice on my tongue and let's head back into Stray, shall we? We've got a whole, we've got a sewer system to explore with our good friend Momo, with our new bestie, our, rain our rainbow pal. Meow! My pal Momo, and my bestest, and my bestest buddy in my backpack, B12. B12 backpack buddy! This place is creepy. Okay, what's gonna happen? Oh. You got games on your phone? see any way to open this gate. Can you take a look on the other side? I think I possibly can. Hmm. All right, up here. Hmm. All right, we got some solid ground here. Oh, those are... Okay, popping those eggs, not a bad, not a good idea. Okay, popping in for a bit to see the kit game. I like this kit. Kit very good. Kitty very good. Okay. Uh, note to self, do not... Hi, Rhea. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I am loving the cat game. In this house, we love this kit. Um, where is some controls? There are some controls there. Oh, there we go. Right, right in front of my eyes. They're so fucking small. I love this kitty so much. All right, get a running start. Woohoo! I've never been this far out of the slums. And with you here, I'm not even scared. Oh, Momo. 
anything happened to Momo, I would kill everyone in this city and then myself. I love, I love that there is a dedicated meow button. I am, I'm glad you're having fun. Oh, I'm having a great time. Thank you for the hydrate reminder. Francisco. Hi, oh Gaston, it's you. They meow, there's, lit there's literally a dedicated meow button. So I can meow, I can literally meow whenever I want. And I got my little backpack. I'm still thinking about when the cat got the backpack and he just like laid down and like was crawling across the floor and I lost my mind because I was like, that's Francisco. That's literally what happens when I put a harness on Francisco. Francisco guest on brother. I did, so. Actually, two things have happened today, Rhea, which you'll get a kick out of. Uh, first off, I unplugged my headphones and I did the meowing and both of the boys like looked around. They were like, what is that? Who, who's, who's speaking to us? And Gaston has been like attentively watching the, the computer monitor today. He's been so interested in what's going on and I just love that. Oh, this old machinery is broken now, but I think we can open it manually. amazing like this game is so is so is so impossibly perfect <laughs> damn doing this though the ye old dark souls way i see this cat is like so is just so so precious Quick, uh, jump below the door. It won't hold long. Uh, how do I do? Oh. I can't go with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Balthazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Oh, Momo. I will. B12, you got that? B12, you got that message? Cat souls. Okay, wiggle your butt. Get on up there. Carefully, kitty. Oh, no, not the paws. skin goblin. <laughs> hey, promoting, promoting good cats of all breeds. I kind of wish like you could pick which of the cats you could be, like either the black cat or the orange cat or like the orange and white cat or like an all white cat. Like I kind of wish you could have like picked your cat, but. The sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. 
The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They were huge and could contain a whole building in them. Oh no, I missed another memory. No. Yeah, like a sphinx cat. We need we need to per we need to promote all all cats are good cats. Oh no, I guess I'm just going to have to replay the game. I mean, there is the achievement to beat the game in like 2 hours. So, Down we go. I'm just like obsessed with their little backpack too. Man, Gaston, why can't I put you in a little backpack, huh? Because you complain. Uh oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't be blowing up the 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 knack. I can't remember what they're called. I always forget. They just like like look like little ticks to me. Why is the kitty half fighting half-life aliens? So they're like a parasite. Oh shit! They're like a parasite that has like an organic parasite. Um that has essentially eliminated humans. Zex, yes. That UV light did nothing. Yeah. Uh, the Zex. Don't do it, kitty. They're too powerful. Get off my butt. Um. And they eat through, they eat through anything. They eat through metal, they eat through flesh, they eat through, uh, wiring. So, oh, so this is a Last of Us type thing. A little bit, actually. Like, when they really said, like, it's, it's dystopian, they, they really kind of meant, like, it's pretty dystopian. And so, like, all, like, the humans, like, created the robots, um, you know, as, like, assistance but they now that humans are all dead um it's just the robots that remain and but you know again these things don't just eat organic life they eat uh they eat you know robotic parts as well oh i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to clear this room aren't i and I'm guessing if you use the UV light B2, yeah, B12 will overheat and she'll explode. And then there's like a cooldown for it. So I have to be really careful. Which is why I'm kind of doing them in like waves like that. Because I know that as soon as I hit this as soon as I hit that lever, all these guys are probably gonna hatch and they're all gonna jump on my tail. But yeah, so I got my little buddy B12 um, and she, or they, or it, um, is, so they're trying to like recover their memories because they're like an AI that was helping a scientist. We don't know what the scientist was or what they studied or what they did, but we're trying to help B12 recover their memories. And they're essentially assisting us as well along our journey. You go, cat. You bottleneck those, those mooks, right? Listen, we got, we got, we got a, we got a good little kitty brain. Yeah, 
like the game the game has a really interesting plot like i kind of thought it was gonna be just like i don't know like not not necessarily a walking sim but i thought it was gonna be a lot more linear um with some exploration i honestly thought it was like okay the cat lost their owner in the city and they have to like do all these little tasks and try to find them but we're essentially trying to find like the other cats and we fall into the robot city and you know we're trying to help these robots while also trying to get back up to the, the, the outside the surface um nope near near atonata okay um and so um we've been so like tldr uh we met momo who's the little ro who's the who was the robot who was helping us with the chain um and they are an outsider so they came from the surface and they came down and them and their like besties um were whoa oh that's not Ooh. oh my god 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 Um, and so we found, this reminds me of that one deer game, Way to the Woods. I've never heard of that. That actually sounds really cool, though. Um, okay, I can't go in there. This is really, really creepy. <laughs> Oh, it was an E3 a few years ago. The art style is really cool. I will have to look that up then. So uh, B12 is my little is my little robot buddy, um, and she's essentially, you know, as you see, she's equipped with like a a, 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 a uh, ultrasonic uh, light, which is what they are weak to. Um, so we're trying to find the other outsiders um, who help who are friends with Momo um, because they escaped. So they escaped the city, the, the slums and the lower levels. And if we can find them, then we can figure out how they got down, or they got out of the slums. And then we can figure out how to get not only the other robots out of the slums, but also how to get our little, our little cat friend back up to his, his, his clan. You know, warrior cats. Oh my god, I just realized that this cat is Firestar. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, B12. Sorry, B12. apologize if I missed anything in chat, if I missed any comments. Uh, my my uh, dashboard decided to refresh on me. Again! Oh, B12, I'm sorry. Okay, 
Well, that was a that was a creepy room. That sure was a that sure was a room full of somethings. Oh man, the eyes are all closed now. Ooh. Okay, kind of. At least I'm kind of getting the timing down for the laser and B12's recharge. Um. Meow. Oh my gosh. The soundtrack in this game is absolutely fantastic too. Like this game is really, really good on a lot of different levels. Like, not only is it like hee hee hoo hoo little kitty game, but like it's aesthetically pleasing. It's got really interesting designs. It's got some really interesting, it's just got really interesting choices that they made for the game. And oh, all the eyeballs opened and they are all looking at me. That's cool. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, B12, I'm sorry. not in the right direction. Tasty. Oh dear. So a friend I made on Brynhildr when I made Alana just suddenly DM me a full game code? Oh, yay! Congrats, Gazan! Gazan, you have- Gazan, you have Final Fantasy! Oh, B12! <laughs> Now 
going to wake wake her up. This wake up, B12. Says I went out for like three hours. Why is my kitty game Metroid now? <laughs> Uh, there, there has been a lot. We also took a, we also took a bit of a break so that I could get some food and to feed the boys. Um, so we're essentially looking for Momo's companions who made it to the surface and, oh, <gasps> yay, B12, oh, you're okay. It was dark and I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. In truth, all Metroid games are kitty games. I think all Metroid games could be 110% improved if they just gave Samus cat ears. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The defluxer was, is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. Oh no. That's not great. But that's okay, B12, because we're here together. I mean, it's like alien stuff, and yeah, humanity is a big part of the Space Foundation. But that doesn't mean cat people don't exist. <gasps> Momo! Momo! Oh no, you're not Momo! Who are you? <laughs> A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us? The little outsider? Balthazar the outsider has been expecting you, and he's meditating at the top of our village. Can I- can I nuzzle you? No, but that's okay. Ant Village. <laughs> and that's not to mention how Ridley was a Furby. A Furby or a furry? This machine. The scientist assisted, I assisted, used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine, but I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? Furby. So Ridley, yeah, big scary purple dragon. I just wanted to know if you meant Furby or furry. He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. I can't use internet at all because otherwise game will take like six hours, so I'll be gone for now. But good luck with kitty game. No worries, Gazan. Go, go, go block with your download. We see a baby version. He was a little white furby kid. Oh yeah, little little furry, little furry, little furry baby Ridley. And he's so cute. Yeah, I've seen baby Ridley. He's pretty cute. Until a little cat appeared. <gasps> B12. You are the scientist! <gasps> was it? It was. Me. I was the scientist. I was human. I... I need a moment. Oh, B12! <gasps> 51%! That means we're halfway through. Dr. B12! I'm sorry. I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Oh, I can't talk to people without, without B12 because she, she translates for me. I, I just got an achievement for that. I just got an achievement for ruining their game. 
I like the contrast between the tick parasites having a parasitic relationship with everything and B12 being a parasite with a symbiotic relationship with MC prevailing over them. There's a point of parasite parallels in this game. Yeah! Machines playing Mahjong! It... There's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, really great subtleties in this game, and I, I really... Kitty, no, the red machine was gonna get a Yakuman! Too late! I, I need, I need it for the achievement. The achievement, by the way, is called Catastrophe. <laughs> what else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Yes, there are! All of the robots! They deserve to be saved. <gasps> Balthazar! <gasps> Look at all the Maneko Nekos! What is this? <laughs> Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I am glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped Doc find Doc and Clementine. She is in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Oh, gained a new item. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Oh, I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the company, companions, or head onward to Midtown. The OST is really, really nice. I love it. What if I just want to hang out here with you and be your little meditation buddy? Huh? What about that then, huh? People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45, with my secret ingredient. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. Wow. Nico is doing his goddamn best, and you're gonna insult him? How dare. How dare you. Oops. Wanna go into the bucket. Down we go! Oh! <gasps> 
Look, I have a little pillow. Oh. I love B12 all like snuggled in the backpack too. Oh. Look at this kit, looks at Francisco. Oh my god, there's a little swing. It's so cute. It's done. I actually don't know where Francisco is. He's somewhere around here. Oh, hello there. It has been so long since we've had a visitor, except those damn zerks. Imagine if we could harness their power, having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. When I grow up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but I but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Ant Village. It's okay. Everybody mixes them up. It's totally fine. <laughs> Electric zerk everywhere. Go go sleep, Isaac. I like the I like this tune. May is in her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. Gaston reminds me of an orange cream pop. I get hungry every time I perceive him. <laughs> He's my little creamsicle. I must leave my mark. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh wait, I can't smell anything. How sad. Oh no, don't cry. Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage brown! Good for you, May. 9536 games 1 to 6. Don't tell anybody I'm actually programmed to win at this game. Dang! Hmm. Statistically, I should have won at least 8 times. Sabotage! <laughs> Exclusively referring to creamsicles as Gaston Pops for here. <laughs> My own little ice cream boy. Okay, so I think we met everybody. <gasps> wow. I got a I got a purple plant. We met anybody? I, oh, a memory. This language, the companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive! I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I am curious to hear all they have to say. God damn it! I've missed more memories. I 
I love the- I love this fucking cat game! Oh, that goes up to my little- my little house. I was about to say, come on! Come on, little guy! The soothing sound of trash falling, shimmering waterfalls, and no dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielding me in its womb. Shall you also be my tomb? Think it's too solemn? No, it was beautiful. Clementine taught us to grow special plants that can live without sunlight. I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Could you find the other for me? Please, please? I will do my, my, my meowst, my best. Oh, that's a so that's a bucket that will take me down. I'm bored. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. I'm assuming that means we'll be back here if I need to collect things. I would have laughed if all the plants were mushrooms. <laughs> Big jump. Everybody just smoking some mushrooms. All these robots be high. Tip, tap, 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 tap. Just done. Hi. Oh, look at that good old stretch. Good boy. Kitty. Ooh, a train! Look, this is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride it anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. Oh, B12. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Oh. Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let us find Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here, and maybe they will point us in the right direction. Only a train eye could spot a locomotive camouflaged in its natural habitat. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop, 
boo boo bee bop. Cat on the subway. What will they do? They will be a menace. How about you? All right, let's head down this hallway here. Oh. Or I could take the fancy way up. Metro is closed due to pandemic restriction. Please do not enter. Any violation of rules can result in a heavy prison sentence. Man, if only they did that, you know, now. Well, you know, there's a pandemic. Haha. -ha. <gasps> a memory! There are so many books here. Returning Test Legacy. Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have Cobes a Nero library? Says, hey, Ornstein hey. here with Cat Facts Part 5 <laughs> because Cobes is busy. <laughs> Though cats can notice the fast movements of their prey, it often seems to them that slow moving objects are actually stagnant. Cats oh. use their whiskers to feel the world around them in an effort to determine which small spaces they can fit into. A cat's whiskers are generally about the same width as its body. Cats have 230 bones, while humans only have 206. And cats also have hollow bones, and that's why they can make funny shapes and are actually like liquid. Isn't that right, Gaston? Isn't that right? You got hollow bones. You got a lot of hollow bones in your little body. I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. I was feeling, it was a feeling, almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. B12 reminded me of Emily. Oh, look at the little, like, <coughs> look at the little blushy face. Ah! Okay, I guess, I guess this, this companion does not speak. Thank you, thank you, Kobe, Kobe Steen, for the fun cat facts. Also, Kobe's, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know you've been kind of popping in and out, so thank you for thank you for sweeping back in, giving us fun cat facts. Don't worry about the trash. Nico Corporation takes care of everything. I already told you five times, Yash. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey. Hey, this is the first time I've seen that kind of robot. You look so fluffy. No, oh, it's the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? Oh, you should ask somebody else. I'm too busy with Yash here to know anything. I am, thanks. Beating the heat and getting stuff done. Good, 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 good. Wanted, Clementine, Troublemaker, Outsider, Rebellious. Please report any sightings. Oh, Clementine, what have you been up to, honey? Hmm. We got police bots here. Please state your identity. Corporate cooperate or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Uh-oh. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Uh-oh. Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Clementine, outlaw, reminds me of Overlord. I can't believe we got police. Listen, we are we're fighting for our fucking lives, and there's still and there's police robots. Kind of fucked up, if you ask me. Oh, on the topic of parasites, I have a crack theory about the ending, and it makes me sad. Onyo. Onyo. Listen, I just want my little kitty. I just want my little kitty to be A-OK. -okay. That's all I want. Tell me your crack theory, though. I 
I, I, I've been having some thoughts and I, and I just don't want to, I just don't want to put them to words because I don't want to like spoil myself on the ending. But I, I've been having ideas. Midtown. And I got the achievement Catwalk. Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey. Be cautious of the sentinels. They are quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. What happens when a relationship is no longer symbiotic? It's only parasitic. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and the next day with my other arm too, and then my body and so on, until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you're talking to now? Okay, 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 uh, what's, what's the boat? So my, so my theory, my theory that I've been working with in my brain is that, well, originally it was just that the scientist that B12 was an AI for was the one who, like, created the parasite that was, that created the Zex. But, um, that's, that's the one that's floating in my brain. I smell two endings, maybe tied to memories. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll just have to play the game again. Oh, Neo. At Nico Corp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we heard news from them. Cool picture, that one. Hey, is that an address on the back? First symbol is a street, and then there's a floor and a door number. Should be pretty easy to find. Residency, Shop Street, Nico Corp. Well, I want, I mean, I was trying real hard to get the memories, but I'm, I've already missed three, so. My, my hard work has not, has not paid off in this, in this instance. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can, we can get them another day. Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. The Nico Core factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. I'm in a box. This is my home. I'm busy. What do you want? I just want to be your friend, Mr. Blazer. Scattering all the bottles. Scatter all the bottles. Boop. Maybe if I like stopped exploring every nook and cranny, but like I can't, I can't not explore. I would be denying myself my, my true gaming experience. <gasps> oh, Zaya, yes. here? Oh, I guess that's... Okay. I 
was gonna say I can't. Oop. This merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I try to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up with spare parts. I mean, it looks like he is out of batteries. Two, four, five, eight. Co oh, code. Two, four, five, eight. Okay, so if we see a safe, aha! Two, four, five, eight. Oh no, wait. Uh, eight five four two. Eight five four two. Eight five four two. I don't know how your attachment to lollipop chains up, but it yes. Oh, um, whoa. Uh, no. Fuck off, Java. Excuse me. Java was like, "Hey, do you want an update right now?" No, I don't want an update right now. Uh, there we go. I. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. I'm so fucking excited for lollipop chains on remake. I fucking love lollipop chainsaw so goddamn much. I also got a kitty badge. Because I'm a little kitty. I'm a little kitty boy. Holy shit, I'm so fucking excited. So many video games. It's not fair. Why are all the video- what? Why are there so many video games? And not enough time. And I don't have any money. Koba's Nero says, hey, hell, this hey. is Java. Do you want that update, though? No, I don't. You've been to the city below. I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Literally came out of fucking nowhere. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee, and it's closed now. Sojiro? Mr. Mr. So- Mr. Persona 5 Sojiro? <laughs> even this- even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Was that a Skyrim reference? It probably was. There's a lot of, like, funny little references. There was a Back to the Future reference with 1.21 gigawatts that made me giggle. You know, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Oh, Clementine. She went here once. Why do you ask? You have her address on the back. The residence is just to the right when you leave my shop. Oh, okay. So we're, we're close to Clementine now. Question mark? Oh, look, we're buddies. This is it. This is the video game. That barbor is screwing around. Java is also excited for Lollipop Chainsaw. That's the fucking best, when the cat sits on your chest and then they go <laughs> Sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the delivered guys, but it seems they're taking their sweet time. Um... Okay, so how... Ooh, what's going on over here? Meow. All right, well, can't go that way. Oh. 
do not proceed further. The access to the outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. The exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. So for some reason, cats always come to me. A friend has multiple ones and I can't sit down with have two of them lap, two, two of them on my lap in minutes. Hey, it just, it, it, you're, you're a cat person, whether you like it or not. I just walked near the elevator and got yelled at by the sentinels. For years, we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We well, just accepted us back, but why? Oops, I already talked to you. You know what, my- you know what, my friend? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious and they've got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious! That's a long time! More of a dog person, but the cats have claimed you. What can I do for you tonight, Chief? Or Chef? Cat in the kitchen, what will they be cooking? Oh! Whoopsie! Just don't worry about me. Um, okay, uh, what in here? Ouch! Huh? What's this weird feeling? A cat zone. Cat zone. Oh, that's a that that's an interesting design choice. I mean, the the cop robots have security camera heads. That's kind of an interesting uh, aesthetic choice. I, I don't like it, but it's it's a good choice. It's the trendiest shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper's pretty grumpy. Are you one of those wild young punks listening to loud music all day? Don't touch anything. Don't make noise. Don't ask for a credit. Um, sir, I am a cat. Something, something, something. The government's always watching. Yeah, right? A little too on the nose there. Look and fly, buddy. Look and fly. Um. Okay. Hmm. To hell with the sentinels. Long live the outsiders. Fuck yeah. Ooh, he got that drip. Ooh, that robot got his drip. Oh, I didn't mean to jump up there. Okay, so the residences are this way. Next to the barber shop? Okay, so where, where did the barber shop go? Here's the barber shop. Isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think nothing bad could happen to us. 
where I'm supposed to go? I tried downloading an aimbot to be best of the game, but ended up with malware. I'm not sure, but everything seems odd now. Nice picture. I've seen this girl before, I think. Raising big flags, my guy. She's looking for information about all sorts of old machines. Weird. Mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? Says the guy with the camera head. I loving, loving all the like stock photos on the wall of like, of like the beach. Let's go to the beach, beach. What'll it be today, little sir? Our world might seem gigantic from your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as you so I could explore hit new hidden places. Windows backgrounds, exactly. I don't know, Tonin. I, I don't know, Tonin. I like pretty much everything. My favorite drink is oils. What's, what's yours, Mammoth? Hmm. Okay, I gotta find the residence. Is it here? Big arrow. But I can't get in. Uh, oops. Is it is it this way? I am. I think I'm getting getting close. This definitely seems like the most residential. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. I will go in that cave. Let's go. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. Oh man, we got D&D &D nerds? Nice. Nice. Um. Oh, there's, there's the address. Okay. Uh, three green, one, two, three green, five red. Three green, five red. Oh, okay, next floor. you were sent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait. So Balthazar finally decided to send someone. I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big, though. How did you manage the sewers? Guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left, left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me.
love I love her apartment, girl. This is cute. Even though you're probably here illegally, that's okay. We love a little we love a little mutiny. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keeps to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. Her fist says kiss me. I don't know his name, but he's a robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Gained a new item. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble speaking, sneaking inside the factory. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city's full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. Will do. Don't have to tell me twice. I love like the the kind of like drift that happens when I like turn and I'm like Arr! Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one. We have to do something for for Janma, Miko, and me, Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that. Can you get them off our backs? Well, I can sure diggity darn try. Oops. Not in there. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm on the security camera. Oh. Okay, that's easy. I'm a little kitty. Destroying stuff. Alright, where's the third one then? One, two. And... Uh... Goodness, it takes forever to get down. Uh, and where's the third camera? I hear it. I literally hear it, but I can't see it. Uh, It's on a higher level. Hmm. I want to find that security camera. Listen, the people have spoken, and they want to dance. Is it... Is it up? Maybe it's up. Maybe it's on, a, maybe it's on the third floor. Um... Um, no, it's 
it's not up here. What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. Good. Me too. heard it, but I couldn't see it. Where to hack? What to hack? friend. How are you doing today? Nya, 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 nya. Uh, I can't find it. They did say th three security cameras, right? See those three security cameras? Destroy them for us. I mean, I'm trying. Unless it's you, maybe. I think this game is one of the most is one of the best word of mouth marketing I've seen in a while. They didn't really have a ton of like trailers. They just kind of were like cat game and then just let the you know they just kind of let let the let the dice fall where they may and uh i have you know i kind of appreciate them for it because i think if this was over marketed to me i don't know if i would really appreciate it they did they did get the slots at the playstation directs which Berwin really, underscore really nice. McCubbin says N Y A N Yan N Y A N Yan. <laughs> okay, so where where am I going now? Oh, I need to find. No, I I remember where I need to go. I need to go over to the the Neko Corp. I don't think this game received a lot of advertisements, and the audience handled it. Yeah, it was like, like yeah, it was at PlayStation Directs, but it was also like. I don't know. It didn't have, like, any major slots, you know? Um. Okay, it's not you. You don't have the gold chain. You don't have the gold chain. Um. Who do I have to? Is it you? I'm busy. What do you want? Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the... My contact? Let me be brief about the atomic battery. Probably for the best, right? I'm pretty sure this was the Twitch front page for a good chunk of the day, and I'm glad. Good! Good, 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 good. The battery is powering the Neko Court factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who's not a worker. Here's an idea. Give me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here and check for a good time to enter. Okay. Um, how am I supposed to do that? Do you like my outfit? It's important for security. I got it from the clothes shop and the hat shop, but I doubt they have one in your size, little one. Just curious, any Strim Raiders? Not today, not today. Because, uh, so this is one of those games that when it's full screen, when I, when I tab out of it, like all the music drops and everything like that. And so, and I wanted to really just focus in today on on Stray, on Little Cat Game. I was just, I was too excited. I was too excited for Cat Game. 
and I was like, only cat game. Only cat game. Okay, so I have to get... Um... So I have to come back here. Um... Don't touch anything, don't make any noise, don't ask for credit. Uh... Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> very, very funny that B12 just... We could just try to steal it right in front of the... Right in front of the dude. Anarchy! Cat anarchy! Okay, so how... How do we get this guy? How do we get this guy out of the shop, then? Um... Or how do we get him? No, no, no. You're not gonna steal that. Okay. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm gonna scratch up your carpet. Screw you. Okay, so if I can't steal the jacket... This dude literally asked a cat to steal to steal merchandise. Nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked. Seeing how competent these two are, it might be a while. Oh. Um. Oh. I'm waiting for that stooplush to get back and help me restock this hat. The guy's slacking off at the bar again. He's got another thing coming. Okay, so now I have to go to the bar. Even in post-apocalyptic dystopia world, this still Fumpkin lives. Mammoth. Tonin. You, uh, try downloading the aimbot. Drink responsibly, little one. Not like this guy in the back room. What a pity. Oh, this guy in the back room. Oh, hey! Um... Okay, so... So he's, he's passed out drunk. I've been waiting for ages. The guy's slacking off at the bar. Okay, I know, okay, so I see he's at the bar. But what am I supposed to do? Save. Chaos! Get back to work. Uh. Is he 
common? Oh, okay. He's common. Assuming I need to like get into this box and they're gonna carry me in. Yes. Yes, pick me up. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, guys. Yes. Yes, take me in. Oh, just don't worry about the fact that oh my god look at his little like look at his little face look at his little like blushy blushy sweaty face okay so I need <coughs> don't worry about me I'm just a little kitty Okay, so I got the worker's hat. Now I need to get the worker's jacket. How am I supposed to get the worker's jacket? Okay, there's the bar, hat shop. Oh, no, 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 you're not going to steal that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, you know what I probably need to do? I probably do- I need to destroy the camera, I need to get the tape, and I need to put the tape in the boombox. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Kinda thought that that was a little, like, optional side, like an optional thing on the side, but it's not. Alright, so back up the steps. Uh, I don't think he understands that I get to decide what I steal. So true. Okay, but where? Where the hell is the third camera? Life's boring since the Sentinels put the cameras in our residence. Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Do, 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 do. Up, up, up. Like, damn, this is one this is one smart motherfucking cat. Okay, how do I how do I get over there? Uh do I go all the way around like this? Um okay, let's go downstairs. Okay, so we'll hop up there and hop up here. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Thank you. Meow. Meow. All right. And around the corner, around the bend. Thank you. 
Oops. No, I'm not gonna try to stick a hat in there. And I'll be taking that. Yeah, ha 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 ha! Victory! All right, now let's go back to our buddy. Uh, this way. I'd want to turn off that music too. Listen, I like I like some good old dubstep, but that was a little too bassy, if you if you know what I mean. Uh, perfect. Jack, exactly what I need. Still need a worker helmet. And this helmet will do the trick. I'll get dressed. Mind turning around? Um, I'm- a, Sir? 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 I'm a cat. Sir, I'm a cat. These are great. Little snug around the lace line, but it'll do. Alright, hop in this box. Very convenient that those cameras were faced away from us while we were causing all this ruckus. Just don't look inside the box. security bots here. Ah, I see. So when the security cameras are gonna look at me, I hide in the boxes. Oops. Oh my Jesus. Okay. They got, they got extra, extra, extra security. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys, it is, it is getting to be that time of the night, though, where we usually do a wrap-up, but I'm like, but, but, but kitty, kitty game. So let, let, let me, let me finish the segment, and then we'll probably, God, it's gonna end, I'm probably gonna end tonight on a cliffhanger, and I'm not happy about it, but it just means we'll probably have to finish tomorrow. Because otherwise, I'll be here until like 11 o'clock at night. And I love streaming, but I don't know if I like streaming until 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> not anymore, at least. Okay, but now... Now I kind of know what I have to do. Woo. Are they, are they sound censored as well? Okay. Do not meow. Not even for memes. Got it. Understood. Have a bad day. Just don't turn around. Nya ha 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 ha. This is awkward. Well, 
Well, that sucked. Okay. Third time's a charm, right? Every good cat has nine lives, after all. Nya ha 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 ha! Also, if you see my model, like, halfway freak out, it's because I'm, like, leaning over and having what remains of my din din. Nyam 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 nyam. Nyam 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 nyam. nyam. <laughs> Gotta, we just gotta take this slow. I gotta, I gotta not rush through this. because all the jumps are coordinated. Um, okay, so up here. Kitty. Smart kitty, warm kitty. Oh. Just went in a big old circle. Okay. Um, not what I wanted to do, but okay. I needed to go sooner rather than later. Ooh, those don't those those lasers don't look for a friendly. However, don't 
Don't worry about a thing. Just a, just a casual little roll on in here. I'm like, why is it following me? Gotta go, Haley. Thanks for stream. No worries, Relics. Thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the night. Um, what am I supposed to do here? one does like nothing, right? was to be able to roll this forwards further, but... So clearly this has to move. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. 
understand. I don't understand. Uh, is there anywhere else for me to jump up on? Okay, so there's here. Oh. Come here. I say. Okay. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. Come here, buddy. All right. So you go there. And you. Dur, 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 dur. You come right here. didn't think that that wouldn't happen. An alarm going off when we take up, like, the nuclear battery? We got it. Quick, let's get out of here before the sentinels show up. We have to get this battery back to Clementine. Wow, a convenient little bucket. Whee! Wonder who that's for. All right, go back. We gotta go all the way across town. Do, 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 do. Don't worry about the little kitty running through the streets. Um. Uh oh. Um. Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I can just sneak in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oops. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go on the other side. You saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh shit. Oh, did I lose it? Phew, okay. gone really, really badly, but Clementine. Did she say where we needed to meet her? I don't remember. We finally found the atomic battery. It looks really powerful, doesn't it? Oh, look at the little heart lava lamp up there. Um, look at clue board. Clem? Hmm, no sign of Clementine. What's this? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Uh, okay. Gained a new item. Okay. So. I do think that. I do think that this is actually the per the perfect time 
for us to um, actually call it. This is a perfect little stopping point because now we have a mystery. We have to find out where our Miss Clementine is. So um, tomorrow, 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 we're gonna try to finish up Stray um, because I am like so in love with this game. This is so quickly shooting up into like one of my top favorite games. Um, I I love it so much. It just it's making me so happy. It's hitting all the all the happy buttons in my brain. I am just just so so happy. It is just making me smile. Just I just I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm so tickled. I'm I, I I'm so happy beyond words. Um because this is this game is really everything that I I have wanted. Um and yeah, I'm just I'm just so so over the moon with it. Um so um let's do our our shout outs for the day um so thank you so much se opal for the raid today um and sharing your community with me we know a lot of um the prismaria members we know a lot of the prismaria community um so thank you thank you thank you so much i really really appreciate it and thank you to bahari for the follow today um you should absolutely go check se out um she's an amazing amazing vtuber she's absolutely hysterical you will never never be sad when you're watching her it's ab it's so hard to not laugh it's so hard to not smile when she's around um you should also definitely check out bahari because bahari is an absolutely amazing artist um everybody in prismaria is just fantastic and amazing um and just thank you everybody for being here um so yeah like i said tomorrow we're going to be continuing um stray um if depending on when we finish we may follow it up with something else. I don't know. It's really going to be dependent on the day. Um, because I feel like we're at like 60% way through the game, but I could be totally wrong. We could be like super, super close to the end and we'll only play it for like an hour or less than that. And it'll be like, oh, I'm done. So we're really going to play it by ear tomorrow um, and figure out what we're doing. But Stray is on the menu. Um, Thursday, uh, as you guys know, is my day off. Um, so I'm gonna be just hanging out, chilling out. Um, don't forget that if you are a member of our Discord community to uh, put in the Final Fantasy chat, if anybody wants to farm anything in particular on Thursday um, in our off hours, I would really appreciate it. Um, or if you guys wanna learn something, that's always on the table too. Um, and then Friday, we're going to be doing an ending or attempting to get an ending in uh, Virtue's Last Reward. And then that's going to be the rest of the week. Um, Saturday is the day off. And then um, that is when I post my, uh, and then, yeah, that's when I post my schedules in the Discord. And then uh, Sunday, I will post my schedule on Twitter. As per usual. So last, but certainly not least, we are going to figure out uh, who we're going to raid tonight. Who are we going to raid tonight? I am going to take a peek see here and see who we have going live today. Um, and if we have anybody who's doing Stray, we might go raid them. Um, let's see. Oh, we have, we have Kitsune Eve. She is playing Stray. Let me go see where she is at. And if she's still pretty early in the game. Oh, she is she two hours in. Two hours in, perhaps. Yeah, she's she's pretty early in the game. Um and Oh, or actually I think we're gonna do a nostalgia throwback. We're gonna go raid right actually one of my favorite people, um, who is a lovely, lovely, um, he's not a VTuber, um, but he is playing Jet Set Radio Future and he is so fun. He's so fun to watch. He's gonna probably sing us a song. Hopefully it's something funky. Hopefully it's something chunky. We're gonna go raid the man, Raziel's Flame. I love Razzy. He does a lot of, he does a lot of nostalgia gaming. He does Spyro, he does Kingdom Hearts. He actually has a podcast as well that he does on Twitch. Um, and like I said, right now he's playing uh, Jet Set, um, which is, just an amazing game, amazing, amazing soundtrack, and just one of the most, like, lovely, lovely people. So, uh, we're gonna go raid Razzy. Um, if you are a subscriber, you can use our raid message, and otherwise, we'll do little cat raid, little cat raid. Let's 
let's see. Let's just do a cool cat. Cool cat. We got we got glitch cat. We got how many cat how many cats? How many cats can we fit in this in this? We got a lot of cats. Little cat raid, little cat raid, little cat raid, little cat raid. Okay. Or we could just do little uh did I miss one? No, I didn't. Or little cat raid. So um, Razzie's gonna sing us a song, so please, please stick around, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the conclusion of Stray, um, because I seriously cannot get enough of this game. I'm just gonna sit up and just think about how much I adore this little cat and B12 and everybody. It's amazing. So have a great night. Do not forget to love yourselves. Please, please, please drink lots of water. Take care of yourselves and have a just wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you so much, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>